Okay. I feel like we might be okay here. I mean, we're a little over on one side. Do you want to move it? Or do we care? It, just, it doesn't bother me, Jode. I mean, maybe. Okay. Let's a do smidge. That. Good morning. Maybe it's afternoon or evening where you are. Are we it's, early? Um, one we may, minute. We may even be a smidgen early. It's so nice to just be. Oh, I'm going to turn notifications. Thank you. Uh, we just got the notification. Grocery Girls are live. What? Um, the moon. This? Yeah. Do not disturb, right? Yeah. Okay. So. That's better. It is. It is a wintry morning here today. It is full on craziness. Hi, Teresa. Good Winter. morning. Good morning. Good morning. I always, I can't believe people are. Thank you. Thank you always for joining us. It's crazy. Well, this is like our knit Friday mornings. Like I would like it's Thursday. I, but... No, but, but when we meet, like yeah. I get so excited to meet up. So if I didn't have, or I was home, this would be like my I would day. Too. I would too. So we're always so grateful that people have time for Tuning in live or later. I'm going to be showing spoilers of Admet, so be prepared. I said to her, you can't show that. Yeah, she said, I'm showing it. Just forget it. I'm going <gasps> to... Hello from Maine and Norway and Northern California and Atlanta and the Netherlands. Are you kidding me? You guys. You guys. You guys. Hello from Saskatchewan in Love the house. It. Love our Canadians. New Hampshire. Northern Ireland. Love it. I feel like it's always our same friends that come back, but we never tell anybody. We, we're we Canadian. We're from Canada. Yeah. We're in Edmonton, Alberta. Oh, in we the prairies. Another, we have another um, Cork, Ireland. Cork, our Ireland. Paris, us. Ontario, and Calgary. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Calgary friend. Missouri, Niagara Falls. I love it. I have not finished my coffee yet this morning. Did you? Were you running late? Toronto? No, I don't usually finish it, actually. Fort Mac Mac Murray and Edinburgh. That's Amy. Hi, Amy. Norway. Woot woot. Saint oh my Louis. Gosh. We could just like. Um. Does anybody see our? This is it. This is our holiday display. Anybody go to? Yeah. <laughs> Jody bought me the cutest. Actually, I should. I'm gonna Do we remember who they're from? Jody, that's the worst part. Okay, I'm I gonna find it. This is. Look at these little trees. They're on sort of a like a beautiful gold obviously they put these together right yeah little cubes and a little dowel thing that they've painted but these are individually crocheted individually yes so they're individually crocheted I think and glued onto these dowels but they use such gorgeous colors of yarn there's like a minty green and a couple of pinks and kind of a taupey color and it's it looks like nine, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A little forest of nine crocheted trees. Jody gave them to me just a little while ago. She said she ordered them in the summer. I did, I ordered a set for me. This, she had two color palettes. There, this one had pinks and I actually mixed them up a little bit. So okay. now we both have pink. Good. Cause it's kind of the same, like wintry, a little bit bluey, some green, some grayish, some pink. I can't even. <laughs> they're so they're. Yeah. cute i mean i just love i love christmas ornaments and decorating but the yarn ones and the handmade ones are my favorite for sure yeah i never did check our volume maybe we should make sure our volume's all the way up volume means what you hear i don't think that affects oh you're anything. right you're totally right but i don't want to screw things up oh you're right good morning good morning hello from connecticut victoria caught us live and she's very happy is it all cats <laughs> Yeah. Is she dancing? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. Uh, that's so sweet. I don't sweet. know if I can find it right away, but I will. If find anybody it knows mentioned. knows who this crochet maker is that does these little crocheted forest Christmas tree sets, she's also a quilter, right? I never looked her up. Like you gave me the set, and you said, "Here's her card," and it's not like me, but I lost the card. Where's the actual? Who I know. Who am I? I'm it's, so sorry about that. It's here somewhere. I just won't waste too much time. Okay. Um, okay. Anyway, they're super, super cute. If you happen to see them or if you're a crochet person and you know of a pattern for these, we would love to know about it. Um, if you want to put the comment in the down box down there later, or that would be awesome. 
Germany. Are I you... should look up on Ravelry crocheted Christmas trees. I bet there's tons. There must be something. Oh, Northern California. Okay, you guys, you guys, it full on rained here tomorrow, yesterday. We've had the weirdest winter so far. Yeah. Yeah. So we got snow a couple weeks ago, which was awesome and normal, but a little bit late. And then it got really warm and melted everything during the day. So everything's a puddle. But then at night it freezes. So literally skating oh, rinks. It's wicked. The residential streets are horrible. And then yesterday there was a freezing rain for quite a while in the morning. Crazy accidents. I guess the dogs are out. That's hilarious. Um, Crazy accidents on the highways, in the city. Oh my gosh, they never been down here. Stupid dogs. Ellie and Ozzy. They're so cute. Um, look at your glitter nails. I'm getting all distracted. I haven't gone for a while. I need it's to like, go. It's like very... Um, kind of like a blushy disco ball. Oh my gosh. Jody. Excellent I'm all over that. Um, so anyway, our, our weather's horrible. So Jeff's home from work today and his job this morning is to go get some more um, melting salt yeah. because we ran out at the store. Did we we ran out at home. Oh, I wonder if we've got extra bags to so, share. Well, I think he's got to go do some errands okay. or something. So that's one of them. But it's dangerous. Like slipping and falling on the ice. People break wrists, bones. Like you have to move your life. You have to walk, like it's go through life. It's very dangerous. Okay. It's really actually hilarious. As long as they didn't, Jody. as long as they didn't hurt themselves, it's true. But the slipping, like those blooper videos where people slip, it hurts though. Yeah, I, I wouldn't wish. Listen, someone to it slip. is only funny until it's your ass on the ice, yes. and then it's not so funny. Yes. Um. Yeah. So horrible, right? Yes. People. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I would much rather some snow. It's not very snowy here, and in Alberta, we normally have a really snowy Christmas. Yeah. So I'm waiting for that. I'm not totally in the Christmas mood, if I'm being honest. It's two weeks. It's two weeks away. No, three. Two weeks. It's the ninth today. Christmas is in two. Christmas Eve two is in two th weeks plus one day. Okay. Well, now I'm really in denial. Okay. Right? I guess. I guess. Yeah. Nine and yes. 14 is 23. We're 15 days away. Ooh. I better get busy. I don't feel like I'm not not organized, but I'm not as as organized as I would have hoped I was. Yeah. When you're working also, it's a lot, right? <laughs> it's because a it, lot. it falls I, I let it fall on me with you know, I I take over all the buying and you know, all that sort yeah. of stuff. So then all the wrapping I do. So it's and I do all the baking with yeah, the kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. It gets to be a lot. I mean, over the years when we had just like one part-time job, we all did that and it was still a lot to get done, but we've added more things to our plate. So it's like, hmm, I wish we oh, had yes. more hours in the day. Yeah. But, um, it's very, it's good. It is whatever ends up happening happens, right? It's all good enough. Right. If I don't buy another gift, if you don't bake 28 batches of cookies, that's okay. I agree. Yeah. Let that be I think we have to be forgiving. For yourself. That's a great word for it. Yeah. Totally forgiving. Because you're right. I put that stress on you that I want to have this baking done to give away. Mm. If I don't, I don't. Right. Really? Right. Yeah. It's not like people are waiting at their door because they know you're bringing cookies. Like, well, it's, it's, it's lovely um, to get done what you get done and to stay in the headspace of enjoying it instead of stressing yourself out. I want to bake when Maddie wants to bake just for fun. Right. I don't want to have to do it so it's a chore. Yeah. Georgia's off work tomorrow. I'm off work tomorrow. We plan to do some kind of baking. We don't know what yet. We have this awesome Christmas baking cookbook. Uh, and we're just going to pick something and make it. That. Yeah. So I don't even know what we're I making. I made almond roca. <gasps> That's my favorite. And the ginger cookies. See, those are my faves. I have to make those. Yes. Um, but... We, and and yeah. if I'm honest, I had the almond roca on the stove. I don't, we don't need a thermometer anymore because we've done it so much. Right. But I had that going on the stove on a medium low while I mixed my cookies. It was kind of, <laughs> it was kind of nice. It is nice. And that's a little dangerous because honestly, when that almond roca gets to a certain point of the caramelization, it can go from perfect to crap. 
Yeah. In like Oh, I'm five watching seconds. it every 10 seconds I'm glancing. I usually, lots of times, I'll have two pots going at the same time. I do too. So I love that because it doesn't double, but you can totally have them on at the same time. Yeah. But Tracy's going to send out an email with our Christmas recipes we've shared. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to make an, we'll get it. We'll send her an email. The ginger she, cookies, you guys, we're talking about. We've shared about. them a lot. And the almond roca. Yeah. Yes. The yes. Homemade, I'm going to share yes. both of those recipes mm. in an email. So anyway, those are great. Yeah. I mean, there's lots and lots of those types of cookies, but, or recipes, but we'll share mm. the ones that we, we use all the time that are tried You know what true. I'm looking forward to? Taking off the two weeks Madison's off school. Yeah. Like if I choose to do something work related, maybe, but I don't plan on doing anything. That's really nice. Knitting. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the same. <clears throat> actually i'm gonna starting next week there's gonna be less work for me which is it way back um it's just great so i'm gonna have more time to finish christmas gifts i'm gonna have more time to pick up some things and i i'm actually got lots of my christmas gifts done i it's just a big pile that i have to wrap now but not even big pile but i've accumulated some things or you think you're done no close i i got a couple more things checked off yesterday which is awesome did you go to the mall no Ugh. Do you have to? Ugh. No. I think I can avoid them all. Maybe I can go to the mall, but just come in on the outside to a store. Like, yeah. not have to walk through the mall. That's, awesome. That's the exhausting part. And then I'll drive around to the other door. Kind of. It. Yes. Yeah. So, I, I'm not done. But I'm also... My husband said... I said to him, I'd love to get you something that you really want. I can't knit you a sweater for Christmas. I have the yarn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have this time to make a sweater. And he said, honestly, I would really love to just save our money. I'd like to go somewhere. Yes. I'd like you and I to you guys go love somewhere. That better. <clears throat> so that might be, you know, I don't know what that means, but. Go in Fe You guys always wanted to go in February. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm not really all that gung-ho about traveling at the moment, but we'll see. We will see. Maybe right. we'll plan something. <gasps> That's exciting. Sort of okay. a, yeah. Even just a driving trip. It doesn't have to be, you know big expensive one but there's beautiful places within driving distance here totally yeah yeah shortbread yeah shortbread's a must anything with butter yeah yes please i got mom's 23 and me back did you yes oh my gosh okay she's like 95 percent european oh okay what she thought okay. like ireland and scottish that's and, exciting and and british like yes Okay, well, we should tell her. Yeah, we'll have to tell we'll her. We'll have that. to. I just thought of it right now. But yes, I have the report. So it's it's so interesting. I did my cat too. Did you? <laughs> yes. I did. What's this. your cat? I haven't got it back yet. It takes a bit longer. It's up to three months for the cat. I really? Don't know. They're a little slow. That's hilarious. Um, but it's called Base Paws. And it's the same sort of thing where it will tell you your kind of cat. I only did it for my white, my, my, his name was Frisk, but he's like, He's like this long, he's not a Persian or anything, but he's this long haired, he's really beautiful. white, beautiful cat. I don't know anything about cat breeds, so I don't know, but he's beautiful. He's a gorgeous cat and he's got like slanted eyes, right? And maybe he's, he's gonna, really beautiful. He is beautiful. Maybe he's going to turn out to be, I'm just going to pull up a picture. He's beautiful when you don't cut his hair. <laughs> yes, he's gorgeous. Doesn't he look like a king of cat? Like yeah, he's really beautiful. And he's so white. Like, like, he looks so white. Like, the cleanest, whitest. Yeah, he's beautiful. So, he's probably going to come back and say, oh, he's a domestic, domestic lawyer. Yes. Hair. Like, yeah. nothing fancy. It's just a fun thing to do if you want to. Um, That's so funny. And then this, if we're showing cats, because people will... That's my... Um, that's Frankie Gray. That's... That's another beauty. Cat. Yeah, your he's cats are so really cute, good. Joe. Your cats are really good. Part Cute. Christmas tree. Ha ha ha. You're so funny. I don't, it, it'd be interesting to find out. This is Frisk with a haircut. He's really got. He's not happy. Yeah, cut some, his hair. yeah, the guy said he's very regal. I pulled his hair out like this, kind of like a mustache. He's funny. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I could talk cats all day. Jody but we're here is to not as wild about her cats, and they are very cute. Yeah, I will be the crazy cat lady. Mmm. Well, you're already crazy, so. Speaking of, those cats were fostering. One of them had come up. I was sitting eating tacos. And as as most cat own as all cat owners know, and 
not cat owners might not know is if a cat comes and sits on you, you're morally obligated not to leave or move or like shift. You're, you're anchored. You're anchored until the cat decides. I did not know that. Yes. So he came and cuddled here. So I'm like, I'm one handed now. I have one taco left. That's a hard one hand meal. I smashed that taco with my hand <laughs> and ate it piece by piece like this. The things we do for our cat. Jody. Yes. I do love cuddling with my dogs. Same thing. It's like, oh, do I move because the cat, the dog's so cute. And, he's and is this because your cats don't come up very often? No, that's no. not true. Okay. So yeah. you're like anchored to the couch a lot. Yeah. Her cat's an Egyptian mouse. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I bet you you're going to find out something We fun. could cat talk cats all day. Cat chat. <laughs> Isn't he a Turkish Angora? Maybe. Who knows? Never heard of it. Maybe we should spin his hair. Go for it. Isn't that? That reminds me of Poppy's Pom Pom. Yes. They're, um, uh, <gasps> I mean, they're like, they're Alaskan dog yarn or whatever that they mix with wool. Cat chat. Cat chat. That's oh what I said. God. Um, I love it. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess we should get into our knitting. We do have knitting. I do have, it's all, it's, it's hat chat for me today. Almost the whole okay, thing. Okay, cool. I love yeah. that. I have a hat too, but I have, I, when I was, um, assembling some things last night, you and I said, geez, I don't have very much to share, but you know what? I kind of do. Tracy. I kind of do. You know what so I did? So I'm happy about that. Printed. A ton of new patterns. Oh, Jody. You know has a new pattern. Skein deer. Yes, I saw that. I might have even bought that one already. And if Look not, I will. These. They're fingerless, you guys. That's one of my favorite kind of things to knit, you guys. Color work, small projects like that. Yeah. Look at these. I mean, look at the palm. The palm matches the, the, the wrist all around. Ellie is an amazing designer, and she is Norwegian so she knits all this amazing Norwegian color work she's all of her patterns are fantastic can we just note that I cleaned the heads on my printer Jody Tracy I feel like <laughs> is that all you had to do yes sometimes they just I mean that's there's a function on that for a reason right like you clean them that's beautiful that's stunning okay I've lately... you've never knit anything like that but that's I've talked about that before I really want I to wonder this what weight that one is it looks like fingering weight. If fingering it, to sport, that one. Okay, yeah. Oh, you're right. Okay. Beautiful. But that's such a small project. Fingering wouldn't yeah. be so bad. And it's you know not. what? There is something to say about color work in fingering, especially when it's motifs like that. Yeah. Like your socks. That you, it's just... Yeah. I'm so actually going to share those today. I have something to share. Right. Anyway, yes. it's so beautiful in fingering. I love it. Chances are I won't do it in fingering, but I'm not going to rule it out. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm ready to roll. I got some awesome... Are you? Yes, I'm so fun. Are we going to do this first? Sure. Okay. I would love it. Okay, so this was something... Oh. La over the last year... Does You guys must get excited when you hear, like, well-known people are knitters. It, I do. It's because you kind of take pride in the fact that they're part of your the big the big knitting club. I mean, you, nine times out of ten, it's someone that I've already loved. So you think, I knew it. I, I knew it. I knew I they knew were good. I knew we had something in common. <laughs> um, and so last year when Michelle Obama announced that through the pandemic, she started knitting. I think she's got a Ravelry account that she... Um, it's really? not her name, but she, you, she's like interacted and has gotten help from other knitters. And cool. so already my, I, my, I just would really? die to know what that's all about. Um, but I just love that she's knitting. She's knit Barack a hat. Yeah, she I, has. And the girls like those cute little tank top patterns. I'm dying to know. Anyway, I love it. And so when I saw that Michelle was on the cover of Vogue Knitting Magazine, I knew, I knew. We had to get it. Beautiful. No, she's she the coolest. She Where's is. Isn't she like grace and poise and just she, what she oozes is amazing. This woman is incredible. I I agree. I've always loved Michelle and Barack and all that, and especially when you read things about their personal lives and. They're, you know, living with mom and it just seems so down to earth. I've just always loved 
them as people and then of course professionally what they stand for and the examples they set and all of those things yes I love I feel like I could gush for ages and ages so I wanted this magazine I don't go out and buy a lot of magazines for knitting but I I really wanted one this one mm -hmm. and it was really hard to find and our friend Amber pulled through I meant to ask where did she find this she found it at chapters so if you're here in Canada okay. it's chapters indigo so it's a big bookstore chain kind of like Barnes and Noble if you're in the U.S. Um, I did look there it's where I used to buy Pom Pom Magazine. Yes. They would always, really? they still do carry Pom Pom Magazine. They actually have a really good selection of magazines and chapters. It's like, huge. Yes. Like yeah. knitting, quilting, cross stitch, all, there's quite a big crafty section there. Um, but I looked at several drugstores because, you know, just doing errands and stuff and none of them had it yet. So our friend Amber pulled through and it's a really cute interview and it's a beautiful magazine. I feel like I should... You know, I, I, I'm i so glad that we got one. So it, it's a keepsake. But also when I was on Instagram, um, I follow Dana Williams Johnson, who is an awesome knitter. And that's how I began to know her. Um, I know, and also because of her dog, Jellybean. She knits these incredible sweaters. And then Jellybean gets a mini version and has the coolest puppy knit wardrobe ever i do love to follow her she's a really prolific sweater knitter it's amazing the color combinations she's beautiful to watch on her instagram she's awesome yeah. she's an um, amazing human but she also has a blog a website called yards of happiness she, which i didn't know about yeah so i recently went there because I, I didn't i didn't know about her blog either but she's a professor at howard university yes. this lady is a knitter she's an underachiever let's be honest <laughs> but she, what she studies is, uh, anyway, she, she studies, let me get it right, correct here. She is, she has, she does academic research regarding um, communications and culture and media studies and critical race theories and all of these really amazing wow, things. But okay. she, she did, though how it relates to this Vogue Knitting magazine, she did study um over 186 Vogue Knitting covers. So Vogue Knitting Magazine is 75 years old. It's been a, that's a long time. I didn't know that. Um, but out of those 186 Vogue Knitting covers, there was only eight black women. And a, I think, I do believe there was a couple um, Asian women. Um, and it took, so this magazine, this is, Something that was a little bit like ice water down my back. I was, yeah. It's hard to, it's hard to understand why, um, why these, it, why it's still happening in 2021. And it's interesting to me when you hear and look at the statistics and think, that is so few people of color that have graced the cover of these magazines. So here's here's something. So this magazine, 1949, Vogue Knitting Magazine, I believe is the year it started. The first magazine cover to have a woman, a black woman was not until 1993. Wow. Wow. And then it wasn't again until 2006. Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah. It's a, it's a it's a staggering number. It's yes, a it is. staggering number. Yes, it is. Because as we've become aware of in the last several years with the conversation of inclusion and diversity is that people of color, women in this industry and people of color and marginalized people have to work twice as hard to get or seen more. and heard to get half as far. Right. So 93% of the Vogue knitting magazine covers were white women. 93%. That's not, you know, when we say we want to be part of the knitting community, that's not the community that I'm looking for. I don't want to be in a community with 93% white women and 7% people of color. Right. That's not what I'm looking for. It's not what I've ever, ever wanted. And I feel like, you know, as Gigi says, that gap that is there, it's way bigger mm -hmm. than 
we know. And if you're not intentional about acting, and when she says stand in the gap, stand in the gap, like that means that's a call to action, right? It ju It doesn't mean just saying I'm an ally, I'm an ally. It's actually getting your hands dirty and doing the work and making this community and this world a better place for people of color. And what does that mean? That means looking for businesses to support yeah. that are run by black women yeah. or women of color. Looking for designers, right? Looking for designers yeah. specifically. Be intentional. Be intentional with your purchases, with your support, with your, um, if you're on Instagram with social media, even share, just sharing, mm -hmm. looking for people of color, they're right. The, they're the makers. Um, and not just in the knitting community, but as a whole, everywhere in right. your life. And I'm not saying you have to spend money because that's not everybody's in availability at the, yes. you know what I mean? Sharing is a huge thing. Amplifying the footprint of these companies and people that you love is a big deal. Yeah. So, you know, it is, um, I listen, I want to leave this world when I'm no longer here. I want to know that I left knowing that I did my part and that I left, I helped hopefully helped make things a little bit better. So I live my life now and I didn't always do that. Like th this last several years have been a big eye opener mm -hmm. and, um, but the word, and I say it again, I, it, I'm intentional with how I, um, make sure I include the BIPOC community in my daily thoughts and intentional purchases and shares mm -hmm. and, and we want to make sure that it's you, not forgotten that this is a conversation that we still and continue to have and how 100%, important it is. A hundred percent. And you know, if that is you, I, there was a huge conversation about this recently that started on Instagram, which I don't want to get into here today, but what I would love to do is use the space below our video to amplify businesses that you love that are run by black women or women of color or men of color or men to, you know, use that space to say, I love this company. And here is a designer that I like to use that space. I don't want to hear comments about your opinions on certain things necessarily. Like I'm not going to here to have an argument about this with you, with anyone. Yeah. Right. So let's just, yeah. Do way better. Do way better. Be more intentional, right? Yeah. And, and so, I'm saying this for ourselves. Yes. I'm not here preaching to you and telling. I would hope that the people that come here to be with us yeah. know that this is who we are. And, exactly. Um, but it's also something you have to, we would like to continually bring to the forefront. And we promise to do better, mm -hmm. obviously, right? So I have some fun things to share today that I did not know about. Um, and I hope you guys love it and are able to support it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we love to do is to shine a light on small business. So, Because, for example, um, there's some, some people of color that I follow on Instagram, you guys, that have been around way longer than and have designed way more things than white people that haven't been designing and making as long in this community. And they have a fraction 100%. of the followers, 100%. a fraction of the sales. And it's not because they're, they're making and their designs aren't as beautiful. It's because of the color of their skin. Right. It is because of the color of their skin. Right. And that to me, is not okay. That is the world that has been built. Yeah. Built. Yeah. To favor. Yeah. And to oppress, to favor white, oppress people of color. So we're, and, yeah. Right. So getting, um, I have one more thing to say about this Dana 
call me DWJ. If you want to look her up on Instagram, that's... She's lovely. But she also said that she um, she do, she's done her research about it, like Instagram and comments and stuff like this. And one of the things I found, again, so telling... Uh, that if, if a white woman in the knitting community said anything political, either way, whatever way you happen to lie, that people were um, praising her for her bravery and, you know, sort of mm -hmm. standing behind her. But, you know, when black women, they received, you know, a bunch of negative comments, you know, about 10% of negative comments that were telling her, you know, this isn't the platform for that. We want to get back to knitting um, get back to knitting somewhere else. So the white women would receive less than 1% of negative comments and black people would be much higher mm -hmm. than that. Yeah. So, and you know, standing up and raising our voices once again on social media, hundreds of people unfollowed. And here's the thing. I don't ever care about a follower. Me either, Jody. We've never done anything yeah. to get a follower or a view no. or a... We are not in this for popularity. It's not a popularity contest. That's never, ever, ever been. Sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. It's that. It's that. It's just like we're not in it for anything other than sharing our knitting, sharing our beliefs and what we're standing for and make, making this community. Wait, hey, listen, we'll stop talking about this when everybody gets an equal part, part of the pie. Right. That's all we want. Right. Everyone to be equal. So, yeah, that's where, that's where we are. And I just we, think it was way more worth the mentioning because I don't know if everybody follows Dana. I don't yeah. know if everybody is on Instagram, which they're not. Yeah. Um, I just think she, and the, just sharing all of this with us. Yeah. The value. Yeah. So I thank her. She's also a, um, a writer for Modern Daily Knitting. That's mm. another place you can go. Yes read her articles yeah um, she's amazing and I hate saying I can't believe that I can't believe and you know what I don't say that anymore no when you hear these things no you can't say I can't believe that of course you should believe it not only believe it but look at it mm -hmm. and figure figure, figure out, out what your part is to make right. it better figure out what you yeah. can do to switch that in yeah. your own way okay anyway this was a conversation I was looking forward to have. Just, I need a reminder sometimes. Me too. Just, I just need a little bit of a, 100% percent a little reminder sometimes. So that's your reminder. So let's make this, this equal and in, as inclusion, uh, equal for everybody. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I know. I want to knit this pattern so badly. This is beautiful Fatima and she is. What's her Instagram? Fatima. She's disturbing the fleece. Yes. And she is, she's an awesome designer and maker. She actually commissioned, like you can commission her to knit things too. I know. We have shown her patterns previously on the podcast, but you know what I didn't realize about this hat? Are you saying we have or we yeah, have? Yeah, we have. Yeah. I think. I'm sure um, we have. This hat has three different crowns. It's an awesome pattern. Look at it. How fun is that with the cables? Well, I'm a, such a cable lover. I love the um, I love the way it. the cables are the star there, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. I love it. And that's, so that's a, a cute golden beanie. Hat. It looks so good on everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> I love it. Okay. And it's worsted weight, so I feel like at Hello. this point, if you're someone that knits for gifts, um, worsted weight hats are your friend. DK worsted, that's your way to go. Totally. Okay, so that was just another one. I love it. Um, Have you got some FOs? Are we there? No, work, what, what do we start with? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to start with our sweaters. We had somebody ask. Oh, sure. Go ahead. What are we This is the what we're wearing section. Tracy knit both of these. Let's. Oh, shoot. Take it away. No. I don't know what the name is. Okay. Oh. Uh, do you? Orealis. Okay. This is the Orealis sweater by Jennifer Steingas. Um, it is D, is it DK weight or worsted weight? I DK. use DK. Okay. It is amazing. That's what it is. It's so beautiful. I used Cumbria by the Fiber Company. 
um, which is a 90% wool, 10% mohair DK it's weight. The most beautiful halo. It's such beautiful sweater yarn. Nice. And then the um, color work is fingering weight and one strand of mohair. And it's in the um, Jasper color by La Bien Ami, which it's was such so a fun good. collaboration with Amy of La Bien Ami. Uh, Jody inspired that color with a mood board and Amy dyed the most gorgeous. So this was for Jody's birthday. I thought it might be fun for you to have a sweater with that color. Because I hadn't knit anything. I know. And it's so I did it looks so good on you. Oh, I can't even tell you how cozy this sweater is. But not hot. Good. Not hot. I think a DK is a great weight yeah. of sweater. For I, I think it's my comfort. It's my sweet spot of to knit and wear. Yeah. Okay. And now I didn't even realize it, but I'm knitting my, I'm wearing my sweater with the color I inspired in the same collaboration. We didn't plan it. We were so lucky to work with Amy earlier this year and um, connect and, and have this fun project. That this, was a year ago we started that project. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. So this is the uh, Comfort Fade Cardi by Andrea Mowry, which we did an awesome knit along for. And this is knit in the Sienna Fade. God, it's It good. doesn't really look like the Comfort Fade Cardi because I didn't do the shawl collar. I did just a ribbing. And that's literally all I did. Like I just, instead of doing all that she says, I just picked up stitches. And you shortened it. I did it a little bit shorter for myself. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, this yarn. Insane. But I love it. Also, the shape. And it's DK. I know. So this pattern is crazy popular. Mm -hmm. And I can see why. I would like to knit another, even if I did it solid in a different yarn. I love the shape. I'm just going to do, do not disturb on again. Oh, I missed it. When I turned it off on my phone. I think it does. It, oh, sorry. Okay. Um, it, it's a great... I love the shape, the way it turned out. Just like you said. Like, I would wear it all the time. But the fade is pretty fabulous. I, Tracy, so, La Bien Ami, this all this yarn is La Bien Ami. I don't think I have faded anything. Can well, you guys remind me? Jode, this sweater... Oh, I don't was, think I have. And it went really fast. That's not true. Because... Oh, no, it's not true. Yeah. You've knit a sweater. Yeah. Or did you... Did someone knit that for you? Someone knit one for me, but I also have knit that one with the... That, that fade I put together with um, yes. spun right round. Yes. Yeah. I, um, fading, so fading is when you do small little stripey section to go from one color to the next. That This is just the most brilliant way to use up single skeins of yarn. And we've said that before. Because you could, it doesn't have to be the same color family. It can, you could fade in from black to white. You totally could. Yeah. It's you beautiful. totally could. And we do have a video on our channel here. It was the launch party for the um, Comfort Fade Cardi knit along. And it has Amy from La Bien Ami. It has Andrea Mowry. I can't believe I'm even saying that. It was so much fun. But if you're looking for tips on fading and stuff like that, Andrea, if you watch that video, um, Andrea and Amy gave so many great tips on color combos and how to, how to make... Even skeins you don't think will go together yes. to make them go together. The whole thing, I mean, fading into another color isn't wasn't uh, invented by Andrea. But let me tell you, she took that idea and she made it fresh and new. And her ways of doing it so it seems seamless and beautiful, it, it was just gorgeous. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I ever heard of fading before, Andrea. I don't know, but I do know she took that idea and people loved it so much and she ran with it. Like she applied hats, it to her knitting. Sweaters, yeah. shawls, yeah. Hat, socks. Like, and it really is that much fun. I totally get it and I totally see why. And I every time I put this sweater on, I think to myself, I would love to knit another. I love the shape of it. It stays on really well for me. I think that's the thing, right? When you find something that fits you well and works for you, it's nice to like knit it different ways. This shape is amazing. I really like this. Yeah. And it's really just boxy. I didn't. Well, that's like my shape. I just knit it. It fits my shape perfectly. <laughs> I, um, I just knit it. I, and I did have notes on Ravelry. I can't remember what I did exactly. That's so I just funny. knit it shorter. Um, but all those notes are on my Ravelry page. So. Um, you know what we did do last week 
is Jordan wanted to go to the Nutcracker. Maddie wouldn't even come. Like, it's a ballet. I'm just going to say, I didn't even know you were a ballet girl, but um, I'm not. <laughs> now you know. But when one of your kids asked to do something, yeah. sure, I'll do of it. Of course. We left at intermission. I left it up to her. I left it up to her. That's okay. She knows she's not a ballet fan either. There I mean, it's beautiful. The dancing's amazing. I think I think you should love the music as much as... Yes. And if I'm honest, I really wasn't talking... Um, I wasn't following all that well. Like, I knew the general story. Right. But I'm like, what's that mouse guy doing there? <laughs> I really... I should have... I should have brushed up don't, on the I don't story. know either. I should have brushed up on the story. I don't know the story either. I have never been to a ballet. I should have watched Barbie Nutcracker. Right. I'm sure there's a Disney version anyway. of something. And you went to see something. It's fun. I did. So um, we love live theater. And I, I've never been to ballet. But we love going Don't to plays and especially musicals. We love musicals. But we went to our, um, the Citadel Theater has always really good plays and productions. And we went to their version this year of uh, A Christmas Carol. Mm-hmm. Which is like usually sort of old Victorian time set, right? Like yeah. with Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge and stuff. This was set in like the 1950s and the costumes were so beautiful. The Scrooge was so good. Like he, like the acting actually was fantastic. It was amazing. We loved it. We would go back. The ghosts were kind of amazing. Yeah, um, that's the, what I little bit of A little bit of special effects, lo- a little bit of singing. I mean, at the end, you just feel so good at the end mm-hmm. of that story. Um, and it was also a, um, a food bank fundraiser at the, the Citadel mm, Raisins. Love that. Yeah, so I keep putting this food bank picture in my stories because you can actually um, just text food yeg to something and send. Like, do you know, sometimes it's like, oh, geez, I meant to pick up food yes. at the grocery store. Yes. And, um, it's just so easy to send a donation by a text if you can't. It just build through your carrier. Yeah. I mean, at the grocery store, which is our regular everyday job, we collect for the food bank and give to the food bank every week. Well, we live on Candy Cane Lane, and yeah. that's their biggest food drive of the year. Yeah. And last year, because um, there was no walking on Candy Cane Lane because of COVID, they were way down in their numbers. And so right. this year, people can walk again. So thankfully, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's so important to donate, I think, to the yeah. food bank anyway, but especially, I mean, people, there's a lot of people in need, so we want to make yeah. sure that they get what they need, exactly. so food bank's a great way to love it to donate, so that was great, but yeah, the play was awesome. Yeah, that's what I should have done. That was her one of her birthday gifts. She's very hard to buy for, Hamilton's so. tickets are on sale. Not yet. Yes. I thought they were the 14th. No, they're on, I could have bought them the other day. Are you sure? Yes. Shit. There's tons, Tracy. Okay, well, we would we want to get those for Christmas. Do you know tickets like in the middle on the floor for Nutcracker were up to eight hundred over eight hundred dollars? Whoa. Whoa. I see. We would not be buying those. Good Hamilton tickets are way up there. Oh no, well, we won't be buying them. I mean, I we love listen no musical, no. and that would be no. I I mean, we're not willing to pay anything to go to these things. That's we've never done that. Yeah. So, Even but first balcony, we that's where we sat first row, right? First bal- or second row, first balcony. Right. We are Great not seats. buying. No, you'll be able to get. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I don't think we'll go to Hamilton. We'll see. But, I mean, yeah, it's it. Just then, go- you're buying two tickets. It's not like I'm dropping her at the front door. Here you go. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Um, you get to go see a play by yourself. No, no. You're going to be able to find tickets. But because of I'm just like I could take it or leave it, I just thought I'm not going to get them. Right. Yeah. Right. As we amazing. W- we've watched it on Disney Plus I don't Hamilton. know how many times. Oh my God. Yeah. It, we love it. And even my husband loves it. Like when we went to New York, we went to three plays on Broadway in a week. <laughs> it was so much fun. So. Wow. I hope. Yeah. I hope. You'll be able to. I hope they're not that expensive. And if they are, they are. We just won't be going. We'll stay you at know, home and watch it on our That would be really Disney disappointing. Plus. That means that they're pricing that so not everyone can afford to go. Yeah. Which is sad. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Have yeah. you been knitting a lot? I've been knitting a lot for gifts. Yes, I have. Um, yes, I have. I feel like I've been knitting a lot. 
I, I've knit something I can't share today. It's for you. And I, I know, I know. So I have even some secret knitting to share. But I do, um, I think we should get into our hat chat. I have, I have three hats. Actually, I have three FOs and my whip is I think hat. we have hat chat and sock talk and I think we should get into it. So did I show this when I was just ribbing, plain ribbing? I might have. Jody, you showed this as a whip. Yes, you did, but it was just ribbing. You okay. passed this on as soon as you got this yarn. It was, okay, so this is Fiddly Dye Works. I was gifted this skein of yarn by Kate who is the dyer behind Fridley Dye Works. This is her worsted she's weight. She's amazing. She's Love beautiful Kate. colors. Um, she's hysterical. This is Olivia. She's very funny. Olivia is this beautiful green color. Okay. <clears throat> I knew it was going to be for Shane because he has green eyes. So I started ribbing, but you guys, I this is a worsted weight hat, and I knit it with a four millimeter. I forgot to change needle. It was so small. I was going to say, that's tight. It was so <laughs> small. That's what she said. Um, and... So I had to rip it back. But, you know, as you're knitting, you think, oh, I might change this, and I could have done this. I just thought, let's play with ribbing a little bit. This is just increases is so and beautiful. decreases. Um, so I knit this one for Shane. He, I'll take the pom-pom off. But this is for Shane. Or is it? It is. He's, he's been asking. I said, Today, today's the day you he's get like, to wear it. He's like, when can I wear my hat? Yeah. Uh, Jody, it's gorgeous. I love that motif. But it's funny. I did two. And it fits so well yeah. when a hat has a ribbing it just pattern. Hugs. Yeah. So I started this one with a two by two rib and then went into my pattern, like increased one and decreased one. So this is, this is a new pattern? This is a new pattern, but this is actually, because then I changed the ribbing to match Okay, so, so this, this, is is one, this is like prototype. Beginning of. This is Tuesday hat, and it's brand new. <gasps> Jody, You guys, I did it again with my test knitters. You dropped a bomb in their email? Yes. Because this came together so quick, I wasn't planning on it, but then I thought, it's our last podcast on Sunday. I said, it might have even been Monday, Sunday or Monday. I said, does anyone have time to knit a hat in the next couple of days? And... I have the best test. Letters. That's amazing. Those people are, anyone that volunteers their limited amount of recreation time. Right, because people are gift knitting. Rock and it, star. Yeah. Thank you. That's amazing. So this is the Tuesday Jenny, hat and it. it's now a pattern on Ravelry. I love it. There's two sizes. It's up already? Yes. <gasps> I know. I'm, I'm totally like, knitting one for myself. This was one skein. I knit this with two to the max non-superwash wool. Do you have a skein of it right here? No. I have a whole bunch of it. Just a sec. Um, but you guys, you can also knit um, knit it in work. I didn't put it in a pattern, but if you have worsted, just go up to a five millimeter needle for the body of the hat and just follow the instructions. It totally. works for either. Yeah, and I think people know. Like, yeah. If you're at all experienced, yeah. you know how easy it's going to be. I, I had someone knit it with two strands of fingering. Sure. Right? Yep. Yeah. You could do one fingering, one mohair. Totally. Uh, yes, you can. Um, so this is the yarn. This is a different color. This one's called Poseidon. But DK weight, 100% Peruvian, non-superwash. Nice. Oh, it's... Jody. I told you how much I love it. Look, I I've even got a skein um, wound up. I love this yarn. And then this so is the much. Grocery Girls Pom Pom. Okay, that A little bit gray. Amazing. With a little bit of um, auburn on the tips. Just the tip. Just for a second. <laughs> to see how it feels. And it feels good. Um, um, but yeah, this was really quick. I just thought, I, when I tried it on, I'm like, oh, ribbing hats fit so well. So there's, they a, do. there's a youth, adult, small, and then there's a medium large there's two different sizes because really you guys this will fit a child if you stop a little early like yeah because the ribbing is so bouncy i think it's actually one of those great ideas like when you're knitting for people that you don't really know what size that you're always guessing when it's a gift right yes so a ribbed based hat has so much give and forgiveness for fit yeah right so yeah. i love it i do love it Jody, it's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm totally knitting myself one. Um, I love it. 
So that was that was really fun. That's all I wanted to knit was instant gratification hats. But now I'm on to putting hats heels are, in hats. Hats are like that though, hey? The hats are those, I mean, as much as something can be instant, a hat is very, you don't have to commit a lot of time to, get a, days, really. to get a completed hat. If you wanted to, this is done in a day. Right, like if you have the weekend to sit down and knit for someone, you can for sure get one done. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree. Or a couple of evenings, especially that weight of yarn. But really, if you start it, you could get a hat in a day. No problem. If you had the the day. If you I know what day. you mean. I feel like they're like, I don't know, six hours of knitting or something, something like that. Something like that, right? A couple for, of evenings for me. It depends on the knitter, of course. Yeah. Your, everyone's speed is different. I actually thought I would have had my fourth off the needle, <gasps> but I was busy last night. Okay. I'm going to show my hat really quickly. <gasps> we saw this one. We didn't see this color. This is a different color. So this um, was the hat that I was knitting with fingering weight yarn and a strand of mohair. This one, it's the Parkview hat and it came out last week. People were very kind and were very, you know, excited about it, which thank you so much. That's, it's very nice, right? Uh, this is my um, Parkview. It's called Park. You have, like, Did this you say is the, that? the sample that's in the pattern. Oh yes. So I've been knitting different versions of it, like a speckle and a solid, and but this self-striping is my favorite for sure. This is scrumptious pearl yarn, so Canadian dyer, and in the colorway cake for breakfast. I have that. It's such a good color. I've had it for, gosh, I don't even know how long. So. This is the medium hat. It used about 34 grams out of the whole skein of yarn. Good so I've got four. You could get three hats. You could get two there's always, for sure. There's always a few grams extra on a skein. Well, possibly if you weigh your yarn, right? It just depends. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to knit a snug beanie where you knitted an inch shorter, that's even less yarn, right? Yeah. So if you were knitting beanies really? of a certain size. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make socks. So I don't know if you can see, but this is their glam base. It's got a gold Stellina. You kind of can't see it with the mohair. A no. little. The mohair kind of dulls, oh, no, it's there. dulls the sparkle, but when you're in the sun, like when you get the light on it, it, it does. Mm. So I just use a little skein of the Biche et Bouche um, Le Petit Silk Mohair, and I think it was about 14 grams of mohair and 34 grams of sock yarn. So if you had a... If you, have a 50, if you had the regular 50 gram skein from Indie Dyers, you could probably get three hats out of that. Out of one skein. Because I good. actually really, if you weighed that, I bet you that was more like 105 plus maybe, grams. Maybe. You could probably get three hats. Well, out of both. two for sure. And then who knows what. But I think I'm going to do socks with the rest. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Because this color is amazing. It's amazing. I love this color. Okay. But the whole idea that we're taking our self-striping yarn that we thought were going to be socks, and you did this to it? I know, but there's lots of patterns that do other things. I know, but... There's a whole book, that self-striping... It's amazing. Yeah, so if you love self-striping yarn, there's yes, lots of patterns that you can do other things with them if you feel like, eh, I've got enough stripey socks for right now. You guys. Um, that was really fun. Can I just say we're killing the hat game? <laughs> You're crazy. I do, I do, I do. And this was also a Grocery Girls pom-pom. Number 69, that one was. You're dirty. <laughs> That's how I remembered it. <laughs> I would never remember I was actually thinking, how do you know the number? Right. How else? But I do love it. And I'm, I've, oh, come, come on. Everybody needs a hat, right? Oh, it's good. I do love the light fabric. It feels like nothing on, and yet it's, it's warm, right? Yeah. Yeah. And not so heavy that it's going to squish my, oh my God. flat hair. Fun. So I, I do love a hat for holidays. I didn't want to, I came across this pattern and I didn't want to not share it now because I didn't want to forget it. But it's more, people in the Southern Hemisphere so cute. are knitting right now. I just love this. And it's by Kunbi Ayo, Kunbi Ayo Okonlawan. Yes. She's got, um, I'm the worst at pronouncing. Can I just say, knitted t-shirts are one of my new obsessions after knitting that one. Look at this. This is so cute. It's a short sleeve pullover. It Just the all over 
lace pattern is so beautiful. Look how gorgeous it looks on I that. love it. I love everything about that. Yeah. I want it because, you know, you come across something, you go, I know I'm going to, I'm not going to remember this. But you know what she also had? Hmm. She's a beautiful designer, you guys. She's got hats. She's got um, sweaters. She's got small accessories. She's a really, Jody, really beautiful I designer. I love that. That sweater, you go, this is a shape that's going to be really flattering because you could just knit it a little bit longer if you want tunicky. Really customizable. You could actually put so some cute sleeve on this. And I was going to say, this doesn't have to be a summer piece. We all know that. We're knitters. We can modify things whatever we want. You can knit it in a woolly yarn of the same weight and make full sleeves. Yeah. Right? And then yeah. you just wear like a tank or whatever underneath it. You can make that work for any time of year, but I love the design. I love the short t-shirt sleeve. and that beautiful? Yeah, the ribbing is beautiful. She's calling that an advanced beginner. That if, you, that if you've done a little bit of um, a little bit of lace, I think she's saying that it's not a super complicated one, but you know, you'll need to read it. Okay. Probably a chart, maybe. You know what I'm going to add? This inspires me. I don't ever put that in my patterns if it's beginner, intermediate, like what you think because right not even if, if it's a we know mine as, are all adventurous beginner i haven't done anything complicated. but i i never say that no it's, it's a really good idea that she says it's an advanced beginner level pattern so i'm not sure if we're pronouncing the name of this the probably the, the not pattern right but it says so is it arawa arawa short sleeve pullover i see the note down here she says fun fact arawa means beauty in your yoruba one of the major languages in nigeria I love that. I love that too. Guess what? We just had a little bit of trivia talk. And she says that Arewa, Arewa was designed during a tough period in her life. And you'll read a little bit more of that in the pattern. So it's an absolute blessing to be able to share this pattern with you. I am totally buying this pattern. And the reason why we love... It's so cute. I would wear the heck out of that. Right. Like, let's sh go, sh go check out her Ravelry page. I favorited her. Okay. That's how we can show support. Favor, cool. buy her patterns. I mean, it, she's a beautiful I love designer. It. I love it. Yeah. Okay, one thing that just came out again and we've shared previously, but there's a new one and I love this whole idea, is Madeline Tosh does their Mad Love collections. Yes. So this one has five patterns, some crochet, some knitted. And it benefits the MT Community Love Fund, which 100% of the proceeds from the pattern booklet and 10% of their yarn sales, so the Madeline Tosh yarns that you buy to, to make these things, they are, it's a collaboration and it will be donated back to the Madeline Tosh Community Love Fund. And it supports um, makers and designers of color in the fiber world. Love. So, um, they have their colors, Gigi Loves Speckles and Glow, and they make kits. Um, and all of that will be, go back and support in the community. I love that. Yeah, uh, Madeline love. Tosh um, does a really, really amazing job with this, uh, giving back and supporting and lifting up um, BIPOC makers. Totally. They're amazing. Totally. Um and of course, the Gigi yarn is a collab with uh, Gay Glassby, yeah. our friend Gay. So I love it. I love these colors. I love these I colors. think she's pretty... Res so here, I'm going to share Gigi's. This is one of the patterns, the beautiful beret. And Isn't it's that gorgeous? It's knitted in Gigi Loves Speckles, the Madeline Tosh yarn. So the pattern itself is by um, Ann Baker. And it's the Someday Beret. I'm going to link the whole pattern, the collection. Liquid. Okay. Like the book yeah. Because so, that's how you, I think that's how you buy it, only how you buy it. Okay. Um, but it is such well, a great, the crown. it's such a great way yeah. to give back to the community. Yeah. Right? Love that. Because Gigi loves orange. Madeline Tosh what? is she great. She does? Yeah. yeah. And she just rocks the heck out of it. She does. She's beautiful. Okay, okay, so I love it. So that was hat chat. No. Nope. And it was, no, we're not done. I see. Jody, bring it on. That's it for hats for me. Okay, what's the name of this? Magpie Darling. 
Meg, my darling hat. Okay, so Amanda Kafka, who we love, she's the Sparkle Queen. AKA the Crafty Jackalope. Um, we've showed these kits before, you guys. Uh, she, I did change the pom-pom because I couldn't find the one that came in with it. I don't know what I did with it. But she's got these kits, you guys, and it comes with this yarn. Oh. This is like, if you think you don't oh. like sparkle, See, there's one this, there. is, this is the one for you. It's got sequins that it, are like two millimeters. That are barely. the tiniest. This is the blush color. It almost come, it, it also comes with, it comes with the mohair you hold together with the wool. It comes with the pom-pom and the pattern printed in this little sack. It is so good. So Magpie Darling, Magpie Darling hat is a pattern on Ravelry, or you can buy it at thecraftyjackalope.com. Okay. It is also kits in Amanda's shop. So if you happen to have yarn that you think you would love, but really the cutest Amanda knocks, knocks it out of the ballpark with her kits. She's got so many yarns. She also has double the sequins. She has a new yarn that's double. Okay, you know what happened the other day? Darn it, I wish I knew you were bringing that. I love my sequin hat. I love it. I was wearing it on the weekend. That's what got, that changed me. I thought I would never wear that sparkle yarn. I would never use that little bit of glitter. It's, it's for amazing. real. It's for real hey, awesome. You know what I did? I was knitting this and I was ready for the crowns. And I could have done any decreases, but I wanted to follow the whole pattern. I was so lazy. I didn't want to get off the couch and go into my office to get the pattern that I went on Amanda's website and I bought <laughs> the pattern again. That's funny. So it's, I didn't have to get my fat ass But now off the couch. you have it in your digital library. No, she, yes, she gave, but she refunded me. She texted me and said, why are you buying this? And I told her the story and she thought it was funny. <laughs> because I don't want to get off the couch and I want to finish my hat. And you like to support her. Yes, yes, that's so funny, Joey. Like to support. No, but we all know that's not what it was all about. No. It is? But it isn't. Yeah. It was the first because you didn't want to leave the couch. This is kind of just like a relaxed kind of a little bit of like, it's not just ribbing. There's a little bit of textured ribbing. It's oh, so pretty. I can't. Even... I feel like this is the hat that if you're knitting for like a non knitter, somebody that's like classic fashion, like, do you know what I mean? Kind of, this is a beautiful, like it really is very, I think it looks kind of store bought. I do too. I mean, I think a lot of ours do. But totally. But it's, it's a really beautiful. She's got great patterns. classic pattern. You know what I also thought? This is a great. Tell me, Joey. First beginner yes. pattern. Yes. If you wanted to get someone into knitting. Yes. You buy this and the the needles. I agree. Amanda's also a knitting teacher. She, I think, she would totally agree. Her pattern was this big. It's so so short. The actual instructions. So easy to yeah. follow. This would be, a, if you wanted to get someone into knitting. I agree. Yeah. And um, one of those patterns that you can have in your purse, kind of like a vanilla sock. It's, it's just straight. like a vanilla hat. Like, yeah. you can have this in and in your bag, and you can knit it when you're out for coffee or out for dinner or whatever, because the pattern is just stockinette until you get to your decreases. So it's very, very relaxing. One of those zen kind of patterns. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's a few. Okay, in person, this yarn... This is the blush one. I said to Jody, holy cow, what is this yarn? I love this. And it's like every inch or so. Maybe It's the most subtle. <gasps> if yeah. you don't think you love spar sp um, sparkle at all, this is the yarn you need to try. Yeah. It's amazing. It's going to change your mind. <gasps> and it's just the tiniest, most beautiful little, little I'll probably sparkle. give it away for, for Christmas. Sure. I've, I've had, had that before. so much... I've done that before where I'm like, oh, this is going to be for me. And then you're wrapping and you, and you just think, I don't feel like casting on another whatever. Right. I'm going to give it away. Um, <laughs> I think that's great. I would yeah. they say yes to that. Um, I don't have any more hats. What about you? You got to no. wear. Yes, you do. You have a I'm hat. not. We're not continuing with me. You yes, we something. are. No. This is freaking hat chat. Okay. I've got to leave. I'm coming back because I, I have okay. a hat that I'm planning. So this would have been if I, I was, I didn't allow myself enough time last night to finish it. I just got busy doing some to the max stuff and it, I got out of, out of time. But this, you guys, this is the hat that I'm knitting, holding one strand of biscuit yarn. <gasps> They're fingering with their mohair and it's, I believe it's their Lagoon colorway. That's freaking awesome. Do you remember yeah. that? No. I think it's Lagoon. Maybe that sounds good. 
but look what it's <clears throat> all I did was a folded brim straight stockinette and then I folded it and then I'll just do some decrease Jody I am obsessed with that I that is tell you, so beautiful just like we were talking about the, those socks last week where the folded brim Oops. instead of ribbing yes this this folded brim hat, you guys, stays on as well as a ribbed brim. It actually feels like a little bit of a hug. Like it just, it's this solid, but not tight. It just feels so good. Yeah. Like are I my totally eyes supposed to pop out? Not so much. <laughs> is it tight? No, it's not too tight. Your face is turning purple. But um, uh, this one will be This for me. yarn is crazy gorgeous. Amber was knitting with this yarn and I copied her because it was so incredible. But you also bought another blue, greenish tealy color that's ridiculous. I should knit your park view hat in that because it's mohair and fingering. Well, whatever. It's all I want to do is not knit okay, for anybody somebody else. Somebody asked me if I was wearing La Pouf. What's that? That, that sweater with the poofed arms by Hedgehog Fiber. Oh, I am not. I'm wearing the Comfort Fade. Hardy. How, I know it doesn't look like that. How is it that I know about the poof and you don't? I don't know, Jody. That is a question. I don't even know if I got that right, but I think that's what that is. Um, okay, I am planning to cast on a hat this weekend, and I I don't know what hat I'm going to do now. I was going to do a Parkview hat because I've been whipping that out really fast, but Jody, maybe I'll do your pattern because it's ribbed. Do it holding mohair. Yes. So this is what I'm planning. This is a stock set from Shirley Bryan Yarns where it's 50 gram skein. Plenty. So my hat took 34 grams, not plain yarn chicken at all. Well, I can especially even do... because you've got the mini. Right. Are you going to do the brim? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But it's this beautiful combo of sort of like teal and lilac and a darker purple. I think it's going to knit up so stunning. And I picked up this mohair. That's going to be really beautiful. This person loves like berry tones and like burgundies and stuff like that. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might even just throw this in my minis for socks. I don't your mini collection. Don't really need it for the hat, but you could. I feel like when you're, yeah, I was just going to say like if you you're using one it, stain, to, you could totally stripe it. The brim, or not at all. You could put a stripe right in the middle. Like yeah. just a solid stripe somewhere or two like three or three yeah. stripes if you wanted to use up your sock set. It's but that's beautiful. this is a planning. I want to wind this up and cast it on. That was gonna be I think this is my last hat to knit for Christmas. People are saying for the brim. For the brim? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll I will think about it. No, she's not. I will. I will think about it. Look at the color source little. I got, you guys. I'm lips that stress. The world. No, it's I get them. From when my lips get so incredibly dry. Oh, really? Every winter. I think that's what I get them from because I can. I'll get I don't them know. if I get um, super run down yeah. or like. No, I, I'm, I don't feel like I'm run down at all. Good. So it's not that, that yeah. reason, but. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of reasons, but it's they're very painful. Very painful. Yeah. Do you have really good cream, like prescription mm -hmm. stuff? No, but mine is that bad. No, you should get prescription stuff. It works. Like, it takes them away really fast. Yeah. You know what? They Maybe take, Georgia has a bunch of refills. I'll, I can get they you take, one. Actually, Dr. Pratt, I was at the dentist this week, too. Can you think of anything wow. worse? Wow. Ugh. I hadn't been for two years, you guys. Oh, yeah, you were due. I was due. And then your lips must be really sore after that. Right. Um, can I just say my teeth rocked? In my, I didn't have cavities either. It was at, like, 18 or more months since I went yeah. through COVID. Yeah. So your teeth are good? No. No cavities? Jack, no cavities, but my gums Jack are terrible. Jack Black lip balm? What? Never heard of it. Like the Jack Black we love for movies? I don't, yeah. Um, this sock set, too, from Shirley Bryan is called One More for the Road. That's such a cute name. For yarn. Awesome. You know what I meant to bring? You guys. No. Fenty Beauty. I got, she's got these shimmer palettes, and there's three colors. There's, Jody. There's like a pinky tone, a kind of a... A, like an iridescent whitish, like a silvery tone, and then there's a bronzy tone. Did you get them at Sephora? I ordered them from Sephora. Can you see the sparkle? Is that why you're so gorgeously sparkly? Yes, I love you. that. Um, I, I meant to bring it. it to show you because Fenty Beauty is not overpriced where you, not everyone can afford it. it. It's a little pricier, but this palette is really? incredible. 
And I was going to bring the Jones Road. Oh, the Miracle Bomb. Yes. Okay, so let's bring a few of our favorite things. We're going to do a Zoom knit together next week. I'm not saying it's a knit night because it won't be night for everybody. But we thought we would do like just a social get together. Bring your knitting. And maybe we should do that. Bring a few little favorite things. And then if people are still looking for gifts and they're at the mall, we could. I love it. Okay. So I do have a few I favorite things to share that. too. Bummer. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. Um, What's that? This? This. Okay. Speaking of lip balm and moisturizing, I actually okay. have another one if you want it. This is just clear. I think you can get it in colors. It's a plumping lip balm. I don't love those. I've never bought one that I liked before. This was from Instagram. It's called City Lips. Do you love it? I just got it yesterday. <laughs> I feel like... My I... lips are deflating like a balloon. Can I, I just say? I feel like I had an allergic reaction. Not I didn't, but the way it tingled and plumped, I thought... No, this... This didn't feel like that for me. But okay. it's super full of hyaluronic acid, which is very moisturizing. Okay. So even if I just use it as a lip balm... Yes. Right? And yes. that it doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. The Instagram ads, <laughs> they look amazing. Like you're like, I think you should get lip injections. No, I would never. I would totally. You would? Yes. All you have to do is your research and see the people. Jody, do you done. know how long filler lasts? But you just see. If the... it's too much. No, no, you, it's there for you a long air on, it's time. It's like Dr. What's her name that did the Botox for the first time. That just means you have to make sure you go to the right person. You have to find the right person and you have to see a whole bunch of people they've done and err on the side of caution. Like you might even walk away thinking, oh, I wish I would have done a touch more, but that's okay. Get your lips done. Colleen's my girl. She's like, oh, your lips look plumper already. Thank you. <laughs> It's so weird. Like, it's pretty funny. I don't have issues getting older. Like, I really don't care. But it's funny the way things go. And droop. it's for everybody. It's funny the way they it's droop. It's for everybody. Right? Like, I'm not here trying to be younger than I am. I'm really not. But it's funny how we fall for this crap. But I also don't want the beard that I've now grown. Right. I could do without the facial right. hair. I could do without waking up in the middle of the night feeling like I'm on freaking fire. That's not as bad lately. But listen, we're all in that together. It's I funny just, when we can laugh I thought I would share. I thought I would share this lip plumping lip gloss. It, I've had plumping lip glosses that felt like my lips were on fire. No, I can't do that. And I hated that. Yes. So I don't know what was in that. But hyaluronic acid is something that's natural in your skin. I use like serums from the drugstore with hyaluronic acid all the time on my face. Yeah. So I didn't feel weird about getting this. Okay. Try putting vanilla just to dab a couple times a day. That's on your nice. cold source? <gasps> that would smell good. I love vanilla. Right. Yeah. <gasps> Wait Happy a minute. Birthday, Julie's Julie. 50. I know. I turned 50 this summer and I, I, fe I feel Happy 25. Happy birthday. That's huge. A new decade. Welcome to the club. Oh my God, you're in the club. Have you started growing your beard? Right. <laughs> right. The day you turn 50, things start going sideways. You guys, I'm not exaggerating. Not a joke. Some of these hairs grow. A s Why do my chin hairs grow a centimeter in a week and my hair half as quick? It's horrible. Yeah. That part is horrible. Best part of wearing a mask is no need to maintain mustache. Girl, I have figured that out. Yes. A hundred percent. Worst part, I was actually talking to Georgia about this in the car the other day because I said, I'm so over wearing a mask. I would never not wear one. But you know, you're just like, yeah, it rubs on your lips. It makes your lips dry. So you're always, you know, I haven't worn real lip gloss and I don't know how long I wear it once every two weeks when we get together. Mm -hmm. Um... Listen, I'm wearing it for an important reason, and I would never not wear it. But she said, oh, I think we're going to have to wear masks forever. And I thought to myself, no. Well, I've got a whole drawer of lip gloss I'm going to have to throw in the garbage mm, then. Not forever. I don't think so. But Well, I hear people say it's the new normal. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, what did she say? I mean, I, I yeah. Anyway. I, it is what it is. When we're, we're in it, we're doing what we need to do at the time that we need to be doing it. And... But I just thought, oh, jeez. I'm actually, I love these masks. That's the only way that I feel safe enough to go do things in public. Yeah. 
You know, when we went to our play, it was, you had to show proof of vaccination and, and you had to wear a mask. I was shoving M&Ms under my mask. <laughs> I brought a little Ziploc bag full of treats. Yeah. So if we didn't have masks and these mask mandates, I would be going nowhere still. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad. I'm glad for that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, uh, show me some knitting. Yeah, chin hair, bad. Yeah. No, it's like mustache hair, bad. bad. Yeah. Thank God. But that's why I have a wax pot. Like, I, like my hair's thinning here, but filling in now beautifully you know where here. it's going. <sighs> OMG. Jeff's grandma was 84, and she still, like, colored her hair, colored her eyebrows, waxed her mustache. Like, Can that's... please don't ever... Like, if I'm, like, comatose... Jody, in a bed... Let's make a pact right now. Please wax my If I can't engine. wax myself... No, I will better, not let you. I would never let no. you... Are you kidding? <laughs> yes! Okay. It's a pact. Yeah. I will always take care of your mustache. No, I don't. I... No, I don't do my own waxing. I do. Do you? Yeah, I do. Yes, totally. Because I, I don't ever plan and make appointments for stuff. I mean, have I? Yes. Have I lately the last couple of years? No. I let Kim do it. I went to, yeah. And it's just as easy if, when you're there Every anyway. Every two weeks. When you're there anyway. Yeah. Um, but it's pretty funny when you're getting your nails done and they say, so do you want to get your eyebrows waxed too? I just did them. Like, <laughs> I know they're bushier than you like, but right. I've had them done and rip off like so much i mean i don't have the eyebrows you yours do. look good jode especially your tattoo it looks amazing i got my eyebrows tattooed boy that was a game changer totally if there's anything that you've been thinking you ever want to do and you thought i want to do my eyebrows microblading or tattooed do it yeah if you can find someone that does a really yes. good job that was the one of the best gifts I got from my parents. Yeah, that was get. a great gift. Great gift. Happy birthday. You get a tattoo. Cosmetic tattoo. Because you know what? I don't know that I would. Okay, and then she, mom made the appointment. I don't think, I don't know that I would have ever gone and do, done that. Yeah. No, that's a great gift. Great gift. Yeah. Okay. I would love that. <gasps> that's what I could do. You know what I want? Permanent long eyelashes. I know. I know. I should start using one of those serums. How did we get here? I know. Um, Can you, you show know. me some knitting? Yes. Jeez. Focus, right? Uh, knitting. Okay. I knit. I had a bad experience, Jody. And it happens. I'm not holding any grudges or, or ill will, but I made a sock, a pair of socks for someone that was a mostly white sock, but it had this amazing cranberry red stripe that was I was incredible. in love with. It bled like crazy. Now the socks are super pink, but they don't look, you know, it's not even. They look a little bit wrecked. So I made another pair of, it was a gift. So now I'm making this for another. This is gift number two. I just went into my self-striping little bucket. I love to collect self-striping yarn. This, wow. this is, this is Gage Dye Works from February 2017 Club. Was that it? Caterpillar green? Or was no, it, gauge? it was gauge, but okay. I still have older ones that are still say okay. Caterpillar green. Um, this is love it. So I cranked a tube on our um, Earl Bacher Gearheart sock machine. People are always asking. I, I never say it. And I did <gasps> a little gauge is beautiful. folded hem. <gasps> Bravo. Yay. On the machine. Jeez, and then I. It's so good. And then, Jode, this is your To The Max Yarn Co. Blue Steel. I knew it. It's the best gray. It's a good gray. It's a really blue gray. It's a beautiful, cool yeah. gray. I love it. It goes so well with things. It's actually leftovers from my boombox socks. And I'm oh. almost out. Like, I think this is a color that would be so good to have. Yeah. Just sort of an extra. Like, to, I should dye you a skein of fingering and DK and mohair. It's beautiful. Either way. All in one pot. But uh, don't you love the jewel tones yes. in these? I think these are awesome. So a little afterthought heel. I cut in an afterthought heel. Um, and if you want to make something like this, the Smooth Operator Socks by Susan B. Anderson is oh. a vanilla sock with an afterthought it's heel. It's a tutorial booklet. It is a class on how to do yeah. that. And she's written it for DPNs and Magic Loop. So it is... It's amazing. It's a workshop. She could for teach sure. a master class. It's she she's an amazing teacher. Can you talk about that master class you, you yes. learned about? Okay. That reminded me. I, 
Yeah. So I do get masterclass ads. I bet you everybody gets them. Um, on well, now their... we will on our phone. Everybody's going to get masterclass ads. But if you haven't seen them, and I follow them on Instagram too, because I do love classes and I do love being able to just access something from home yeah. at your on your schedule. But they've got a masterclass out right now, you guys, that is... Black History, Black Freedom, and Black Love. And it's by leading professors, journalists, and just people that are, it's their job that they're raising consciousness and talking about um, and educating. You guys, this to me resonated. Like, I am so excited to take this class. Joe, did you buy it yet? No. So I believe right now, and I hope it's you still, it to and group? if not, I did, but I'll okay. do it again. But I will, at the time that I looked at this, it was a buy one subscription to Masterclass and you can give a free one to a friend. So if that's the case I'll still, buy it. no, I was just going to say, I'll buy it and then I'll give you the free one. And I think, or you know what, let's just split the yeah, cost of one. We can do that too. But I, this is the class that made me really want to to buy a masterclass. Yeah. This looks so good. Do I want to learn how to drum from Ringo Starr? Yes. Do I want to learn how to cook from Gordon Ramsay? Sure. But this one? Okay, I'll be learning. This to... one was really important. I follow Gordon Ramsay on YouTube. Me so too. There are so many things I will watch and listen for this because this you can just put on. Yeah. You, you're not going to need to watch it. Of course you can. Well, and I think this is something that, as you're with a fam your family, you can watch with your family. Yes. I love it. So thank you for reminding me of that because yeah, uh, it's a three-part masterclass with seven of the leading black scholars, journalists, activists, philosophers, and professors. Guys. And they're inviting you to gain a foundational understanding of the history of white supremacy in America and draw inspiration from the resilience and limitlessness of black love. Yeah. Oh, and I, love I think that. it bears noticing and commenting on that Star has had to, Star, our wonderful friend Star, moderates these amazing, I love that she pops in for our lives, but she takes it upon herself to moderate. She's had to delete comments that are arguing against what we have to say regarding. There's no arguing in this space. We can have discussions about other things. We're not arguing that that's this. not what we're here for. But I mean, I just think there's just so much denial from. Yeah, it's it is a conversation that we love. Um, it's a conversation that we want to continue. And yeah. we're just reminding you to stay in that space of always learning and being active and intentional on how you live your life and how mm -hmm. you're going to support mm -hmm. uh, marginalized groups. And I mean, honestly, if you're someone that is that opposed to what we're saying, we're probably not your people. I would yeah. hope you stick around because my hope is that you do, you know, support these makers. And I, that is our hope that when we share this stuff that, that it goes out into the world and makes a difference somehow, somewhere for someone. Yeah. So I agree. Anyway, thank you, Star. A million thank yous. I love it. Yeah. Uh, but thanks for reminding me about that, that masterclass because I, I, I'm totally going to be a masterclass subscriber now. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Thanks. Um, and I, I've mm. loved and loved the conversation that I've had with my family and my children. <laughs> That this is is not just going to be something they learn like I learned later in life. I knew I was always supportive and inclusive, but I I didn't necessarily, I wasn't intentional with how I made sure that their you know marginalized groups were heard and raised up. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm excited that my kids would just know from like like really early that this is how you. This is a positive way to live your life. I hope so too, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, sticking up for for black people and, and talking out against racism when people say racist things right to your face. Yeah. Don't, you can't let that stuff slide. No. Right? Yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, okay. Yeah. It's just a never ending conversation. It Let's is. Just make sure it's never it ending. Yeah. Conversation and action yeah. combined. So, yeah, that's. Uh, I have one okay. more sock. You go ahead, though. It's your turn. No, it's not my turn. Yes, it is. No, I, we have I'm the same. This it. is our same one. It's the same one. Um, <laughs> Jody bought me. First of all, I want to say I did not buy advent calendars in yarn this year. I bought a makeup one. I bought a jam one. And I bought a cheese one. And I can't even tell you how much fun I'm having with all of them. I've been getting skincare and a little bit of makeup and a little bite of cheese and a little thing of jam oh every day. God. It's been freaking fabulous. But Jody bought me this gorgeous Advent skein from Michelle of Woolens and Nosh and the DK. Yes. I think I'm more of a Advent skein person. Yes. Right? Like yes. I have mini skein calendars. They are amazing. I, I still haven't used them. I love having them. I will use them. But this one skein for me, in a very busy time, it seems like I've not bitten off too much to chew. Are you knitting one stripe a day? Nah. <laughs> You're just knitting as you feel. I'm knitting. Spoiler alert. As, we're going to be showing. I'm knit. Okay, so I'm not caught up yet. Oh. So this is Woolens and Nosh. Like, I'm coming up on the sixth day or whatever. But look how cute the color combo is. Um... And Michelle has dyed it so you knit a stripe and then you'll have a little bit of a cream color and you're supposed to stop at the cream so that you don't spoil the color for the next day. So I cast these both on. Who, Who are am you? I? Tracy, you're going to have socks by Christmas. I don't think I'll keep it up till Christmas. You we'll have see. to. You must. Because I'm still knitting for gifts and stuff. How much more? Don't put too much on your plate. No, I just have a couple of things that I haven't done yet. Oh, okay. Um, this is the adorable little stitch marker that came in the set by Knit Boop. Love it. Who I love and did not know about. This is something. It came with caramels. It came with candy. Let me tell you, the day this arrived, the candy was gone. I don't know if I was supposed to keep that, but this was Knit Boop, which was a new to me maker. Yes. So I me love too. it. And I love this little bag that it came in. I love everything about this. And you know what? I was really excited for all of them, but to have this DK weight when <gasps> I was going to get a sock, I was so excited. Let me tell you, if you don't have a lot of time and you want to do something Advent-y, I feel like the DK Advent skein is the shit. Yes. I really do. I'm having fun doing it. So I cast on one and I knit a few days and then I cast on the um, cuff and took that to our play. And I knit, like, this is how much I knit in the play. I just kept knitting, knitting, knitting. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even care if it was the days. I knew I'm going to fall behind. So yeah. I didn't care if I went ahead a couple of days. Yeah. But I do love the idea of Advent socks. And I think this might be my Advent zone for myself. So thank you for my skein, Jody. Okay, so I did not know I you got were buying three, that. And then Amber got one. She's got, got the, she's got one in fingering, too. So we're all knitting Advent socks. Full transparency, I cranked my tube. Well, I'm going right to away. This, I have one more to share, and I'm going to do the same thing. Yes. I just don't have the time to knit. I'm not making the time to knit for myself right now. Yeah. Right? I'm using my time in other ways, but I love mm. the yarn. So I, too, I'm going to show the whole thing, but I'm just going to give probably you... probably shouldn't. No? no? Okay, I'm going to just show this. You can show the foot because that's, that's probably almost halfway. There. Well, it's the ninth today. One, One two, two, three, three, four, five, six. You can show the foot. Okay. There. And then next time I'll show. So I kind of know where we're heading. I love that. I'm behind a couple of days. Oh, I don't mind it being spoiled. She said, oh, please just give a warning. Oh, please just give a okay. warning. Okay. If you don't want to see the Woolens and Nosh entire advent, look, look away. away. Okay. I haven't seen the whole thing together yet. It's, oh, okay. Is, this is Michelle the Dyer. She's saying go for okay. it. Just then, give then a warning. <gasps> okay, so I'm gonna do the toe. Okay. So here we are. Here's the foot. Oh, stop it, right? <gasps> you guys, can you even with these socks? So a sock machine, you can whip through the advent in about four minutes. <laughs> You're done. Advent. Which is great. Everybody does these admin things differently. Yes. 
So these are gorgeous. This one, this particular one, there are advents where it has 24 stripes, but you're going to need to do more for one repeat, but you'll need more than one repeat to finish this off. Right. This one has 24 stripes for the whole 50 grams gain. Okay. Right. And then the other 50 was this one. It is. So you so cranked every yes, centimeter, of every the centimeter of it. Then you got the 30 gram mini. Yep. For the heels and toes. Yep. I did the folded brim. So there is a couple of stripes here. There's a hunter green and a really beautiful baby pink. I actually think I might be doing um, my socks slightly shorter. So I might be using the stripes for my heel. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Nice. Like I, yeah. I might not do them all that. So, But I love Jody. These will not be gifted. No kidding. They are mine. I'm obsessed. Those are amazing. Yeah. And I really do think a DK oh. weight sock is much easier for me to keep up with. Because you're knitting two. Yeah. I never knit two at a time. No. This is way more knitting than I normally knit. So I had one sock in one bag. And then I didn't want to have to fuss with... Like, it's got more full, right? So I really just threw, threw one sock with me in the bag when we went to the play. And this is the bag that I threw it in. Oh, I didn't bring my bag. I have my hat in it. This is, come on, like I hot love. chocolate. Oh, Pink and I green love. and blue. So this is by Sarah, who is Wild Strands. She does amazing bags. And these are just the cutest little one skein yeah. drawstring with a beautiful ribbon. You could squish it in your bag. It goes really tiny. I love it. Now so, I can wear my socks. Now you oh can wear your socks. And I'm not someone that it never ever bothers me to see a spoiler. I, me neither. Ever, I, ever. Yeah. Um. You need to start planning next year because I'm already looking forward to another. It's so true. Another. Because I mean, this dividing color can be any color. Like it can be like when you get to the yellow. Stop at the yellow. It can be any. Yeah. She can do. I can't even wait to see. Yeah. I can't even wait to see. So Jody, that was the best gift. Thank you so it much. It was so fun. Oh my God. The other advent skein, this is the one I bought myself, was Christina of the Cozy Knitter. Mm -hmm. And I've seen skeins, full skeins on Instagram and on her Instagram even. So I'm going to show you my cake. This is the cake of the yarn. Um, Can you crank a tube already? I know, right? Jody, I haven't cranked a tube in the last two weeks. Well, I did, but it screwed, I messed it up. Yeah. Um, did you? Yeah. You know what happened? Anyway, I'll tell you later. Okay. It was my own fault and it, it's nothing big. Yeah. But this is going to be, I'm going to crank socks for, from this one. God, that's gorgeous. Isn't it pretty? Look at the colors in there. It looks a little vibrant. Like I, this limey green is so cute. And there's like a lavender in there. Okay, now I'm going to regret having not bought that. No, I'm making you some. Cause it comes in two 50 gram skeins. Oh, just give me, you just give me a tube. Okay. Yeah, we're going to share. Thank you. Because um, you're right. By the time you do a cuff, heel, and toe, 50 yeah. grams is plenty. It's enough for a decent length yeah. sock. Yeah. So I'm going to make you some. So that's it for me for Sock Talk. Sock Talk. Awesome. That's me. That's, that's it for knitting for me. Okay. What is that? Stand back, people. Oh Stand back. It's going to be the Tracy show. No. But I did cast on something two nights ago. Yeah, you did. That I've been dying to knit. And I guess I should... Would your yarn be bigger? No, Jody. It's a big ball. Are you Why? crocheting? I do love the biggest. The biggest. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to show another pattern. This is called The River Winds, and it's by Tammy Gore. I just I love Tammy was, Gore. I thought this was really, really pretty. Just Don't a you really love color work like yes, that? Yes, just like kind of geometric shape. I love how it's kind of reversed. Like lots of sweaters are neutral all over main color. And then kind of a pop of color in the yeah. in the color work. I love that this is reversed like that. I thought this it's was beautiful. beautiful. Red. This red really caught my eye. Me too. And it's a fairly new pattern. No, it's I, not. I, I don't actually know. don't. I'm not familiar with that one. It's 100% fingering merino. It's a fingering weight yarn. Super cute. I would beautiful. totally knit that. I thought it was beautiful. Gosh, I would love that. Yeah. Okay. So... The beautiful Denise Beron, her, I think her first 
Her first garment was the Grace Pullover, and it was this beautiful, it was in Lina Magazine, and it had this amazing cabled panel going up the front, and she took that cable panel and made the Grace Pillow. Are you really? Pillow. And I've been dying to make the Grace Pillow for ages. I actually bought the yarn a while ago. I love it. It's just from Michael. Feel it. It is like the softest. It's chenille. It's a super bulky, and I felt the same thing. It feels like chenille. Oh. So it's just the Bernat. There, there's one one ball said baby blanket. This says blanket. It is the same yarn. Okay. Um, Maybe a, the lighter colors are baby blanket. A blanket would be so cute in it. So I just started this the other night. The yeah, pattern. I just whipped it. The pattern. It, you knit it on an eight millimeter needle, so that's huge. <gasps> it's beautiful. And it's so. Once you get into it, it's like. Every row is the same. Every sixth row has a little cable. Like it's so really? relaxing to knit. I love knitting pillows. So this is, Georgia's been asking for pillows for her bed. Like decorative. Are these her colors? Yeah. She likes this color. It's and amazing. she likes purple. I guess this has a, a bit of a like. It yeah, goes really well with purple. Yes. Yeah. So I'll Tracy. knit. I've got another one that I'm going to do for her. That they'll look so good together. Will this be for Christmas? Yeah. It's so stunning. here, here's the thing. You cast this on in the round. You knit for 19 inches. And then you do a three needle bind off. Okay. So then basically you have a sack, right? Yes. So you can fit the pillow inside of it. And then the way you fasten it, you don't even make buttonholes. You don't even make buttonholes. This pillow has toggles. So they can go right through your knitting. So you sew the toggles back to back like this. So one pops through one yes. side, one pops through the other. Genius. And the stitches are so big that that's enough room. There's enough room there sure to pop is. the toggle through. <gasps> Genius. Like super yeah. simple. So I think this is just a great, whether it's you're knitting for yourself or knitting for a friend, it's fast. Okay. The yarn is inexpensive. Is I think it was like ten dollars. Yes. In the pattern. Yes. The pattern. Oh, really? This is the yarn she was designed for. This was a collaboration with Michael's Yarn Store. So I Denise want to do a collaboration with Michael's Denise Yarn Store. Denise was hired hired to yes. make. She's it's stunning. Amazing. We love I Denise. adore. As a designer, as a human, as a yeah. person, she is amazing. She's so community oriented too. She's so well spoken. I love to hear her in her little house, her tiny we were living. So fortunate that she came by and yeah, we were able to have a chat with her on our maker spotlight, which we hope to do more of in the winter. Yeah. Things have been so crazy in the fall and we haven't made time for that. And I We'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll make time for that. Yeah. But anyway, this Grace pillow, I mean, look how beautiful it is. The cream is beautiful. It's I remember amazing. telling her I'm going to knit the Grace pillow because it's so beautiful. The day we interviewed yes. her was the day the pattern came out. Yes. So I've been wanting to knit it since then. It's beautiful. So anybody, I, I mean, I can tell you right now, I am loving this yarn. Okay. I'm tempted to knit a darn blanket in that. I know. It feels so good. Yeah. So, I mean... I wonder how many you would need. I don't even think you would need all that many for a blanket. Well, I bet you five or six balls of this could make a pretty big blanket. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, super bulky. I bet you the crocheters or even knitters. I was just thinking I would crochet it maybe. It, you I would love, use more yarn. I love crochet. This makes me think I want to knit a blanket like this. Yes. Like that tin can knits one that's mm. all like feather and fat. Like you could do two colors and make, but it would be big be gorgeous. I'm loving this. And I know I love wool, but I feel like this is a great thing. You could throw it in your living room and you can get stuff on it and throw it in the washing mm -hmm. machine and not have to worry about it. Um, and it's being housed in this stunning bag from Hohe and Co. They did this brand new bag is called the Santa Cruz and this is the pewter color. God, I love this darn bag. Stop it. Just yes. I I used this as my handbag when we went out. It's so beautiful. The 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 brown leather handle against the the different color leather I agree. is so good. So and it is metallic in the coolest way. Like I 
love oh, it. Okay. It's got a little um, pocket right there, which is great. No wonder you used it to go out. It's very um, like unstructured, you know, like it's this beautiful soft, yeah, soft leather, it. and it and it's gonna fit for sure sweater or blanket projects if you're gonna use it as a project That's bag. So good. So big balls are in the Santa Cruz bag. How many did you need for this pillow? One. The pattern is one ball of the yarn. Really? Did you have to wind it into two? Uh, so it comes in one of those giant, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. What is that? So you have to pull it, and it bounces around, and I just didn't want to pull. Yes. You're constantly fighting with yes. it, I feel like. So I threw it on the ball winder, and I ended up having to... This is how big I can wind on my ball winder, so then I broke the yarn. So I did get two cakes out of it. This is bigger than the one, I'm almost done the other cake. So I've still got a huge portion of yarn left. So it'll be interesting to know um, how much of this I use. Yeah, because maybe you're gonna use most of I it. I bet I'll have, I bet I'm gonna use most of it with a little bit left over. Yeah. Cause I did not do a gauge swatch. You're living on the edge. Because I feel like I could pillow. shove a pillow in this. Yeah. And I do have um, those pillow forms from Ikea. Those Are they the right size? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. So I, I have a couple extra of those because I love them so much. Um, wow. That's one of my favorite things in the home is just buying those Ikea pillow covers that are like 7 or $10 each. I'm new to the Ikea pillow, so I'm oh. on my first cover. Next time I go, I'll get new covers. So I, I have can, some I that are kind of out. summery, some that are kind of wintry, and I yesterday I just put on Christmas ones. I saw it; they're amazing. Right? Yes. For like seven bucks or whatever. Yes. You know what I love? She put a garland across the top of a window, and then let just lights hanging, twinkle lights. Those were IKEA too. Oh, so cute. Thank you. I mean, they don't go all the way across the window, which is bugging my like. Is but that... it's okay. They're Why really cute so at night. They're right really now. cute at night. I don't know, Jode. It's eleven ten. I have um, yarn I purchased. Let's uh, talk about the work. Let's talk about your stitching. Okay, Jude. I have stitch talk. Oh stitching, bitch. <gasps> you finished that. I am continuing on. When do you sleep? Okay, this, this one took a couple of evenings. This one was Saturday morning. That why, one was so why was it quick. So quick I don't know. Maybe because you're just going across. It was really simple. There wasn't a lot of going back and forth with oh, filling in little ones. So, so these are the um, 12 Days of Stitchy Ornaments by Erica Arndt. And she's got a great YouTube channel. She's a quilter, a stitcher. Can you even? Yeah, they're so cute. So the pattern is 12 little holiday things that make three inch ornaments. And I haven't finished these ones. I just keep stitching. Do you cut? Yep. So you've cut the edge. I actually just saw a or thing. Just tuck it in. I actually just saw a thing where you put a piece of fabric. So you'll see the fabric on the back, a little bit of batting, and then this on top, and then sandwich it together. And then you just cut the edges off. Say that again. So you make a sandwich with this is the top of the sandwich. And then there's with this. Then there's a little bit of um before you put it in the ring. Oh. A little bit of polyfill and then the a little piece of like cotton quilting cotton okay but you're gonna have the good side of the cotton facing out so that when you turn this it looks nice and then oh. you sandwich the ring on top of that and then cut this off and then you cut that off so what i did before was i trimmed this trimmed this and then the little bit on the inside i did a dab of glue gun and then i traced a piece of felt and glued that on the back that which i think also, a lot of people do that it was super cute but i'd never seen it where it looks kind of puffy okay jody it was really look cute look how good your backs look i've learned right side or wrong side I'm i have sure. learned so much the first i wish i didn't finish my first one because it is a hot mess and it had knots like i didn't know anything erica's got how to videos and she's so good this is my last one i just did this one's the steaming <sighs> teacup with silver is that silver or gray it's gray so i i i bought a whole bunch of like quilting or what is this cup so called dmc thread. thread yeah so i haven't really been sticking to a palette it looks really cute if you're keeping because i thought actually 
I'll probably give a lot of these away. So they're not going to hang together. But um, I really loved the little mug. And that one was maybe an evening and part of a morning. These really don't take so long when you... She, I've learned so much. And yes... Have you? Like, your back looks so good. The backs, Jody. Like, I've learned... And it's not hard. It's just like you don't know like, what you don't that. know. I know. So she just... Listen, it's all about, for me, it was the learning how to start without those long tails. Like, I didn't know what to do with the tails. What do you do with them? Well, there's a few different ways you can start. But once you have all, some rows done, you literally just thread your yarn through four or five stitches to bury the tail. Oh, like weaving in your end. Just like we like weaving in first. Oh, I see. But barely. So it's not hard. Mm. It's just that I didn't know it. This one actually is so off-center. That I don't know what I I don't know what I'm gonna do here. What do you mean off center? Like I don't have quite enough fabric to make it a good. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Like it's too high. You know what I mean? I started it, but somebody said to find your center, you literally fold your fabric in half both ways. Yeah. And that's you find your center. Like well, your cup's in the center, but you've just. But it's not. Seat. No, because I I had cut my fabric first, oh. so I start. But I was like, eh, you this looks like the middle. You ruined it, kind of. Mm. Um, I can figure it out. I'll do something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's so cute. It's and it's only you being that like that. Um, really, I'll I'll figure something out. It won't. But I love it. I thought the teacup was really cute. The teacup is really cute. Yeah. What did somebody say? Just glue around the edge. I'm totally gonna do that, Monique. I'll figure it out. Yeah. But um, this is very fun. I'm enjoying it very What's that much. Bag? I'll show you. I it's also nice. just recently bought more cross stitch. Who are you? I don't are know. you a knitter or are you a I bought that. I'm going to need two different t-shirts because I'm a knitter and a yes, stitcher. Yes, you are. Um, a, so a knitting stitcher. Stash Lounge in Calgary is a beautiful yarn store, but they also do a lot of stitching things. So this is a Diana Waters pattern, and I've seen it before. I love it. I, I showed it. I You have this whole thing? Yes. So I remember have, Shop Chop. I brought it. And I sh showed. Oh, okay. It's, well, it's amazing. beautiful. So I got that at Stash Lounge. It's like a six inch, and the the um, eight cloth is linen colored like this. So I'll do that. But they also have these ones. Huge. This one look says knitter. <gasps> it's a ten inch hoop. Are you kidding? Let me look close. We can open it up if you want. No. Uh, so I bought both of those recently and they, they literally have oh everything. God, They've got the hoop, the hoop, the cloth, the floss. And that's the fun thing about this. Again, if you want to get someone into crafting and they've, they've, you know, stated that they have interest in this, these are full kits. You don't need anything else. Like look. Don't you love that? Done. Palette? Done. See, this is what I want to do on my, my Christmas break. Jody, it's so fun. I want to do stuff like. So only selfish knitting. Well, I kind of only been doing selfish knitting. But and, and I bought a little needle minder. So this is a magnet and you your needle sticks to that when you're so you don't lose your needle. Does it come with a threading? I hope so, but I bought a bunch of them, so I will never be without a threader. Um it comes with a needle for sure. I don't know if it comes with a threader. It comes with <gasps> two Crazy. needles. This is a four out of five difficulty. Holy crap, really? Why? I don't know. Just because it's a lot of... Maybe because it's big. A lot of counting. Does this have the picture on the fabric? I don't know. Open it up. I don't think so. But maybe. No. Oh, and it comes with batting. <gasps> it comes so with the batting. So it'll finish the back. And hand-drawn and start. I'm super excited about that one. I love it. So it says knitter. So I will make that and hang it. Do you wish these needles were longer? I thought they could I'm not be sure longer. why they're so little. I'm not sure why they're so little. Like I'm, I'm definitely not. It is, and they're fine. Like it's just like like oh I get God. fine, but make this twice as long. Yeah, maybe you can buy. I actually have ones that I think are longer. Anyway, so this is beautiful. It's nice, right? I didn't know that you bought the same one. I love the um, the style of this sort of embroidery and I guess it's kind of okay. Scandinavian looking. Ooh, wow. Floss. Okay, so it says something about this one comes with a beading needle. Is there beads in this? No. Maybe do they call that a beading needle? 
Well, it comes with two needles. Oh, does it have beads? See, there's, oh, it does have beads. Oh, that's fun. Oh my gosh, look how small those are. The, but the, the See, reason... there's a beading needle. Talk about small. Did... I didn't even notice this. You know what beads. I loved about this one? Is when I bought it, the color palette. Me too. Right? And the there's one that's the blue. There's one that's a greens and blues as well. This same Diana Waters in a sort of a Norwegian. I actually have two ornament kits with oh. this style that I bought last year at Stash. And those are the next ones I'm gonna do. Portland, Oregon. June Bug and Darlin. Is that not the cutest name? Our, have you bought them before? Our local yarn shop, the Fiber Nook, carries some June Bug and Darlin kits. They carry quite a lot of cross stitch now, which is awesome. I love the I mean we're all fiber related, and it's right? So easy and I actually once you kind of get into the groove of it, it's really it's fun. How much does one of these run you? Hmm. It doesn't say. 30 50 like, I don't I don't I think more like 30 I okay. don't know though yeah just out of curiosity I... okay gorgeous isn't it beautiful yeah so and I love that it's and I think this one I can see why it's more complicated there's a lot of like oh my god changing Tracy. color you're gonna need maybe I'll hate it and end up throwing I'm it away far. you would never throw it away I would throw it away no we're not gonna throw it away um um, so what's that one called? Junebug and Darlin? Oh. I don't think they're super expensive. And especially um, when it carries, e there's everything in there. Yeah. I don't need to go find anything to finish that entire project. Yeah. Um, oh, look at this Diane. This one is like 30-ish. Okay. But those are small, small. But it comes ones. with everything. The knitter you need. is sixty. This size is sixty. Okay. And I think this size is more like thirty. Okay, you guys. But everything. Don't start with the knitter if that's where you're starting. Okay. I never even noticed the level of difficulty. This one not difficult, I don't think. Okay. But it does have some straight stitches. Those are not X's, right? Like you're doing lines. Oh, that's fine. You're doing straight stitches, so start the texture will be one. different. I wonder where the beads go. Maybe they go right in the middle of the... Oh, maybe. I'm looking forward to that. That'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, um, another maker. Anjali. Anjali Punto hat. Okay, what a cute hat. It's Look at a, and actually, this is a hat, but she also has a cowl, you guys, and I believe there's mitts, but what, don't quote me. What's going on with that yarn? Is she holding more than one yarn together? It's slip stitches. I know, but... I don't know. It looks really textury. That's really pretty. But I also love you guys the seam that she has um, through her decreases. Yes. I thought this was that's so be beautiful. Especially if you have, look at it's like a natural um, main color. And then that contrast color is shining through because yeah. we only, we have those skeins that we love. Yeah. And I just think this is a great place to highlight that. I love that. That's a really sweet pattern. Isn't that? Yes. Punta hat. I love yes. that. Okay. Good, good job. Um, what else do I have to share? Okay, so we wanted to share mm, this finally beautiful book that we've been looking forward to for ages. Um, the Worsted Book by Amy. She's curated. So Amy of La Bienemy. You've already got your book dirty. I know. I don't know what happened there. Um, okay, but yellow linen cover. Can we talk about that for a second? Um, and I love the size of it for one thing, but it's full of gorgeous patterns by beautiful designers. There's color work yokes. Come on. There's, um, color blocking sweaters. I'll talk about that. when you find the Tiff Nealon sweater. I will. There's hats. Is there mitts? There's socks. I, there's oh, shawls. I My next sweater that I will cast on. Look oh, at I know. that one. There's actually so many multicolored projects in here. It. So this is actually using all of Amy's new yarn base, the Cory Worsted, which I've knit with, and it's just so beautiful. Yeah. This one is by Andrea Mowry, and it's got twisted cable stitches and a bobble kind of going down the side there. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, I love it. That big um, color work one I just showed before this with all those colors, I think that was the one oh, that's it. by Nancy Marchand. I think there's a 
better pictures at the beginning. So there's beautiful pictures of Amy herself in here. So Amy has gathered together. She's modeling that one in two or three colors. Yeah. I think that's the one by Nancy Marchant. She's uh, gathered together some beautiful oh, designers. Oh no. That's by Sylvia Watts Cherry. It's the Amina sweater. And has put the right there. Well, you can't really see the sweater though. Yeah, you're right. Okay. This is the sweater. We'll find a better picture, but this is stratified, right? Is that what yeah. it is? By Tiff Nealon. And I mean, stripes. You can't, you had me at stripes. So it's not color work for that sweater, but it's color changes. And there's some texture rows. I gravitated right towards that sweater. Okay. It is incredible. Actually, every piece in this book is so beautifully designed. This this is Stephen West's shawl. Like the the texture and the color combinations that people have used. We're such big fans of this worsted um, yarn. But, and we've been anticipating the release of this book. Um, it, and it it did not disappoint. Oh my gosh. It is so beautiful. It is so good. And our beautiful friend Max... Max the Knitter. There's a good picture. Here's a great picture of the, the Stratified by Tiff Nealon. Super stripey. Yeah, love. If you've got Everything single about skeins it. of yarn at home, I think this would be such a fun. It's a DK Knits. Well, because it's the worst of your... The hat. The hat, too. I know. I'm going to show you my... I have worsted yarn that I could instantly put in that pattern which I love, but I'm going to show you some yarn that I got today that I'm tempted to, to switch it out with. Right. So this shawl, holy man. That's big. It's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? The photography was beautiful in this book. This yarn, I mean, I can see why people are doing color work and texture because it, it really shows off your stitch as well. This yeah. is like the perfect woolly, um, it's a blend of Corydale and Gotland wool. So I think these designers went to things like um, cables and baubles and lace and all of those twisted stitches uh, because it just, oh, stop it's it. It's just the perfect yarn that lends itself to those beautiful cables and the color work. I mean, you can, you can use any um, yarn in this, but I mean, this worsted yarn is beautiful. I did not know what Max had designed in here, but we were flipping through it and I said to Jody. That has to be Max's pattern. Yeah. And it is. Okay. The graphic. I totally want to knit that. You know, as soon as I saw it, you know those black and it's the white background where it's the, it's almost like a bingo marker. It's thick and they make those graphics. I don't know what kind of artwork that is, but yes, that. This is the one by Nancy Marchant. Holy moly. This is oh, so beautiful. Because she's the cable queen, isn't she? She's, um, I think. Mostly known wow. for beautiful brioche, but she's just amazing in everything. Her version of this sweater, I've, I think this is the same pattern. It's amazing. I can't even, the I think this is going to be, it's so unique and so beautiful. I'm trying to find a really good, like, full picture. Uh, this is a full picture, but it's one color. Um, the multi picture shows you that I think these cables are in Tarja. So you have the cables, this different legs of the cable are different colors. Wow. And it's, I believe, I'm sure, do you think it's knitted flat? I'm pretty sure it's gotta be knitted flat. But see how it comes together here? So it's, it's, it's almost like a slip over. Yes. That's right? Exactly. Like you would wear something, of course, underneath it. Anyway, it is so beautiful. <gasps> so, it's kind of got like the back kind of wing right yeah. yeah like there's no sleeves it's just can I armholes just, can i just say the ginger model is adorable she's well every model in here but yes this woman is so beautiful, beautiful. this cult this, this yoke whole book is this so yoke and it's published by lina publishing so lina magazine has been publishing gorgeous books and this is another one of them yeah um we do I do want to cast on that striped sweater, Tiffany Lynn striped sweater. But honestly, I just love having this on my bookshelf. I think they're incredible. Look at that. I'm super tempted. That's beautiful. Oh, I can't show. I can't show that. Okay. Sorry. 
Um, um, we have it in our grocery girl shop. I you think can, there's, there's something a lot, for everybody. There's lots of places to find it, but we knew we love carrying books, and Worsted is a book that we do have in our shop. It We do. And there's a cowl here, and I believe that's that might even be your swatch. That's really interesting. Isn't that smart? Yes. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's really beautiful. And the color palette Amy has in this yarn is amazing. Yeah. So. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. This is a new. Okay. This is not petite knitter that we have talked about before. That's petite knit. This is the petite knitter. Okay. And she is also. Actually, that rings a bell too to me. But Right. You guys, her designs. Her aesthetic was so beautiful. That's this is gorgeous. a Woolfolk hat. Oh. But and she used all Woolfolk of, yarn or all no? of... That's a good question. I don't think so. And she has yarn substitution. Cardiff cashmere hair. brush light held double. Yeah. Beautiful. And she's got... Um... I love that motif. But if you see her Instagram page... They're all kind of this earthy color palette, and you get this kind of overall feel of that the... photography is stunning. Yes. Yeah. Her patterns were stunning. Like that dark background, that hat just pops off yeah. of that background. It looks so beautiful. I just I think... feel like she's not using a selfie stick in her backyard. What? <laughs> she's That's missing out. Gorgeous. She's missing out. So beautiful. The petite knitter, beautiful. Um, I got a skein of yarn that I was so excited to get. Okay. Um, so I have shared that I, I took classes with Patricia, who's Knitography. And yes. I took her Salbu Mitten class. This was one of the best things in 2020 for me. You know, there weren't a lot of best things, yes. but, and I did knit the 2020 <gasps> into the thumb of this. So I'll always remember when I knit these. So this was a Salbu Knitting class. Uh, and then I took her Selmu sock class. But Patricia is also a shepherdess. She has a flock of sheep. Are you kidding with me? They're, I know. I wear them all the time. Do all, you? All the time, Jody. They're light and warm and they're easy still to drive and do things. I wear these all the time. But see what you mean by being able to do this color work? Yep. With fingering weight? Well, it's sort of like this yarn is like almost a sport, but it is thinner yarn. It just gives you that like more refined. Such a, yeah, crisp, right? The yes. black and I use the traditional, like a dark and a light <gasps> for this one. Um, but she is a shepherdess. She has a flock of sheep that's an endangered Norwegian sheep breed. Okay. And so she's trying to grow her flock. Right. With all of her businesses, her goal is to buy more sheep and breed more sheep and get yes. this this special Norwegian sheep breed. It's called the Tron. Oh, it's very Norwegian. Trondersau. Gra Trondersau is a rare protected heritage breed of sheep from the Trondelag region of Norway. So they raise a small flock free range on the mountain. Um, and she has had, I think, a couple. This might be her third run of yarn from her sheep is it fairly new it's very small batch oh okay i got i managed i didn't uh, the last couple of times i've tried to get a skein and it was gone so i was lucky and managed to get a skein this time i don't know if it's still Can i feel it please it's rustic woolly norwegian yarn it is not soft in any way but it is I very felt, much like, i felt more rustic it's very much like this but this <sighs> has been washed so when that washes, I have a feeling it's going to be, um, I have a oh. feeling that's going to be obviously softer. Did you just get one? I just got one because I thought I would mix it with another color to do some kind of color work. One, no. that's all I needed for these, one black, one white. Did she have white in this? or this, No, these this sheep is the only... color of her sheep. They're a dark, oh. bre yeah, pretty sure that that's what that is. Her sheep are dark color. Um, this is a selfie of her sheep. And I mean, it's small batch, so things are a little pricier, right? When it's, but I really wanted to support her. And Does she do it herself? Does she shear the sheep? That's a good question. I don't know. What here, do you know? here are her beautiful <gasps> sheep. Oh, can you look at the backdrop? What? Is That's that her house? farm. That's her. She lives 
very she lives she in live Norway. In Santa's village, right? I think she is Santa. Like let's just say it. She's a sheepy Santa. So that's great. She um I was very is that I felt her? very lucky. <gasps> Look at that sweater. So now she's doing classes on these Norwegian the kofta, like it's a all over color work sweater. I haven't taken that class. It's but steaked. Please tell me it's it, Oh, yes. Totally steaked. It's knit in the oh. round and steaked. She takes you every step of the way. Oh, my god. But gosh. her... Let me just see. Okay. Until December 12th, which is Sunday, you can get her Selbu sock book. So there's a bunch of socks. It's an e-book. It's 30% off. It's got 26 different pattern combinations by the time you can mix and match everything and seven different designs. And it's super clear and it takes you all the way through it so you know wow it's awesome so that is on sale uh but the yarn is i just got a little while ago she sells beautiful that's ridiculous you know sock blockers and mitten blockers and all of that stuff so if you're into taking classes and you want to learn i would highly recommend her online classes and there are live zoom meetups like if you have questions or yeah. just want to meet the people in your class and get together and get community yeah that's a great way to do it but i was so happy to get her yarn yeah i think you mentioned before you tried it. i tried and, and couldn't so i don't know how i got lucky this time but i did and i think her little label is adorable it is adorable. so my hope is that every year she has more and more and more of her yarn right yeah so she must have had it spun locally the color is gorgeous. This is called the yellow, and it's labeled with the year. It's called the yellow year. What 2021. I don't know. Yellow year. I don't know. <gasps> Pantone was the color of the year? Two-ply, hand-reared, virgin wool. Warm, soft, elastic. And, and it really is very heathered. I think it's, it's a rich chocolate, like a I bittersweet. I think it's beautiful. It's like a gray-brown. It's really beautiful. Gorgeous. I think I'll do mittens because I wear mittens more than I wear super thick socks. Yeah. Right? Or a hat, maybe. Mm. I don't know. I wear mittens more. I feel like a mitten. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll make a fingerless glove or something because I wear those a lot, too. But I love knitting this stuff. Okay. Um, next pattern is... Jode, I love those. Fries Did you mittens? bring all of these because these you know I like doing show notes? Oh, you did. I do it because I didn't have a ton of knitting. <laughs> um, okay, thrummed mittens. We haven't talked about these forever, but we have both knit thrummed mittens, and I just loved the shape of this. I don't talk about thrummed mittens because I've knit so many, I'm traumatized by it. But okay. if someone, <laughs> it's a great pattern. Okay, you have to make these little thrums out of fiber, but the, the Malabrigo Rasta, if you have that and you cut... Cut it into the right length. Yeah. You can use that for the thrums. Here's the thing. Thrum mittens are very traditional, like Eastern Canadian mitten. Yeah. There's, there's nothing warmer. I don't believe there could be anything warmer than a pair of thrum mittens. Georgia wears hers every day in the winter. They're incredible. Do you want to just explain what a thrummed mitten is? Why? What is it? I don't so have a picture. So the thrums are made of fiber. So you, for if you're buying things for a thrum mitten, you buy... A wool, 100% wool yarn, and then you will buy a little bit of a um, unspun fiber. And so our yarn shop used to have kits, and you would get all this stuff together. Um, so you take pieces of the fiber, and you um, twist them into little loops, and then twist them again. I'll link the pattern I used because it's excellent, but the inside of the mitten is fluffy with unspun wool you must use wool for these you have to you can't you guys, use it is it is so fun to knit and let me tell you if you live in a cold climate you must have a pair of these for you yourself. can't do anything when these throw mittens are on you cannot it's get like an oven mitt it's in the best way i mean we're not selling it listen but... if you're going for a walk if you're just somewhere that lives cold and you hate to be cold these are amazing and if you've never knit a pair i would say you, you should, because they're very fun to knit, and they're very fast. I don't know what... I really knit so Look many pairs of them. Look at a rainbow. That's beautiful. <gasps> and each Whoa. thrum, when you knit it into the mitten, it it's so puffy, and each stitch sort of looks like a heart. 
which is very cute. I don't even know if I took pictures of my own thrum mittens that I did. Um, but it's, I'll link the pattern that I used. Uh, and somebody said, do you need to use wool for the fiber? And you really, you do. Because it kind of felts inside a little bit as you wear them. And it's just the warmest. There's nothing more warm than thrummed and items. I mean, these thrums, as much as we say that they're a pain in the ass, just to sit and do them while you do a movie and just exactly. get a bag full. It took me one movie and you're just sort of watching the movie and you're sort of, you know, taking your fiber and making these little loops of, and then thrumming. And then the mittens, they knit up really fast. You guys, they, I took a class. This, I know you're, this you're looks very or... interesting to me because it almost looks like you kitchener the top of that mitten instead of like pulling it. I think that looks exactly what that is. That looks like the toe. Which is a little bit different. So I love that. I, I think the it just stood out to me. I just think these mittens are so beautiful. And we hadn't talked for a really long Jody, time. they're beautiful. That's so pretty. Isn't it? Yes. And, and it's, it's a great gift. People love thrummed mittens. Okay. I'm, I got to show you. Okay. Diane Suburban Stitcher just moved into her new house. And oh. she's just showing a picture of her new studio. I missed... I. I missed it. You guys, dire like talk about. It's so fun. There, it's so fun to build your house from scratch. Talk That's about exciting. envy. Okay. Oh, her dye studio. You mean? Yeah. I'll have to look it up. Okay. I That's didn't... a fun time. For oh, them. right here. So Yuki knits. Yeah. This pattern is coming soon. She's doing slippers. That's gorgeous. Look at that. It is gorgeous. I will be I knitting think Isolde those. Teague has thrummed socks. Oh my god. So yes. if you have cold feet or if you know of someone with cold feet, I can't imagine I'm them really... ever getting cold again if they had those. Yeah. But yeah, those Yuki Knits ones, that's a really cute slipper. Isn't that beautiful? I would knit, yes. Yeah. I would knit those for sure. Um, okay, something else that came in the mail for me was the Shetland Wool Week 2021. See, I could knit these mittens with this as a I love the the long are they nice yeah that's beautiful so this is great it has articles and tons of patterns in it wow um do you sub is it a magazine or is it a book it's a book so you would you would buy them every year if you wanted to there's also for the weavers a scarf pattern in here that's beautiful isn't wow. that beautiful I would take a weaving course I wish I knew how to do it. We did take a weaving course. Well, not like how to do yeah. certain. Yeah. Super basic, like, here, baby. This is how <laughs> There's you... a wall hanging. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. But um, it's full of beautiful patterns and some articles. And it's photographed. Wow. Um, I think this one's photographed all in, in Lorwick, I think. In so anyway, you get to see the, the beautiful place. You know, you get to see Shetland a little bit. It's just a way of supporting as well, supporting Shetland Wool Week because they aren't able to have yeah. Shetland Wool Week anymore. Yeah. Shetland Lace, of course. Wow. Yeah. It's stunning. It's beautiful. Beautiful. You get so many patterns. Oh, oh this... look at that girl's dress. So the, I Are don't you think. kidding? Did we talk about the Shetland Trader book? I think we didn't. Yes, we showed it on the podcast. Did we? Yes. Okay, good. Because this is... I did bring it. Um, Gudrun Johnston's... Um, <gasps> oh, my god! So when uh, Gudrun's mother knit these for their kids, it was it's sort of like a redo of a vintage pattern that her mom used to do. Um, so in, like, the 1970s, her mom knit this kind of a thing. So it's it's so cute. I mean, when She's it starts, adorable. it could start out as a little dress, but honestly, the way kids grow, it could just be like a vest at some point, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Like so they can wear it for years. This little girl yeah. with her little sheep. I can't. Her even. little brown boots and like, tights. No, that's too cute. Get it away. So Lizzie, that's the Lizzie pinafore. All, and this is all knit in like Shetland wool, like the fingering weight. So Excuse cute. me. What? <laughs> Apparently, when you go to Shetland, they just give you a sheep. Like, you get off the plane, and they say, here's your sheep. Oh, my and, God. Yeah, so we should go. I want the sheep that has the white, fluffy body 
and the little black face and the that looks like a step that does come not on. look real come on um there's a glove pattern in here as well as the fingerless mitts so you can knit oh two versions like no these are like this is a different pattern like you can knit full-on gloves wow this one doesn't have fingers mm, yes this one is you can okay. make them fingerless with fingers or full can you on go gloves. back one page please see they just knit them short there Oh, so it's okay. But it's a glove pattern. Like Got it. each finger is. Each finger, yeah. <gasps> so I don't know if you love Kill It Color Work. I think these are. Are you going to go to a movie today with Jeff? <gasps> this vest. Oh my God. This vest. <gasps> so this is like a boxy vest. That's stunning. Isn't that cute? Yes. And oh, all, wow. all knit in the round. You know, you sneak the little holes. And if you use this Shetland kind of yarn, you don't need to reinforce it really. You can just cut it. Scary, but that true. Scary. scary, but true. It's, so. Oh, wow. This is stunning. It's a beautiful book, It's a you great guys. book. Like, if you've ever wanted to go to Shetland Wool Week or you want to just, you know, so support much reading. it. So much reading. Not just patterns, you guys. Yeah. There's articles and all kinds of stuff in there, so. I think that's really fun. I love that's getting beautiful. that's I think the second one I've I've bought over the years. Do you read it cover to cover? Yeah, I read it. I took it to bed and was reading the articles the first day I got really? it. Mm -hmm. You're good. <laughs> um, I don't always, but I did, yes. Um the liar beanie. I that's pretty. It looks, oh, I love that. Slip stitches. Worsted worsted. Oh my gosh, colors. you could knit this for a gift in a weekend, you guys. Laner, how do you pronounce her name? Jody, what makes you think I know? Well, you're so much better. Laner, Lanner. I actually am not sure, but her pattern is gorgeous. This is the Liar Beanie. And you guys, it is so beautiful. It looks like Just it's mosaic slip sli stitch yes. color work. So you're only going to work with one color at a time. So if color work, you know, if you feel like you don't have time for color work, or if you feel like it's too intimidating for whatever reason. This would be faster and easier, hey? Yes. It's so methodic. Like, it's just like slipping, knitting, slipping, knitting. It's kind of like rhythmical. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm crazy about mosaic knitting. I am I too think true. this is what was drawn. I was and I think to. it's super, um, st like, this is a great stash buster. You would not need a full skein of either of those colors. So no. if you can have leftovers at home and still get a hat. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Jody, okay. that's so beautiful. I'm so sorry. Oh is my it God. a pain? No, it's is not it a pain. pain. No, it's not a pain. Okay. I'm just teasing. Perfect. Um, something else that came out this week that we are so excited about is Interpretations 8. We shared, I think, just the cover of the book. Last, I don't know what we shared last time. But it's that amazing collaboration between Hoheet Locatelli and Vera Valimaki. Um, And they've been doing this for eight years. I wanted to kind of share this one. I, it's the cover one. It's called The Lounger. It's worsted weight. It's actually knit in Mayak. Baby yak. Oh, really? Medium. Yes. So it must feel amazing. You guys, it has a hood. Oh, it does. I don't know that I noticed it's the hood. It's a hoodie. Oh, wow. It's like, it can be a coat. It can be a robe. It can be, I did not know that thing had a hood. So I thought I would share that. Um, and I think Vera, oh my gosh, this shawl. I mean, just when you think the seven was like, you've outdone yourself, you get the eight and it's just, I wonder if these guys ever, like, they keep run making out of ideas. it fresh and totally new, completely different. Yes, I agree. It's beautiful. This one is named for Hohi's mom. It's the Virginia I love pullover that. or vest. I can totally see myself knitting that and wearing that. Okay. I think it's so beautiful. There it is over a shirt. That's how I would wear it. It I, is beautiful. I can totally see you in that. I love that. Their styling and um, photographs are beautiful. Didn't you say so this good, was like a love, a love letter to their countries? They photographed, um, they each photographed their patterns in their capital cities of yeah. their country. So yes, they were showcasing where they live. Oh, he did some beautiful DK weight socks. I can't wait for you in to get... In sweet fiber. Really? That's the sweet fiber yarn you gave her as a gift. I did not know that. Yes! How... And she said that on her Instagram the other day. You guys, 
DK yeah. weight socks. There's still time to knit. Either What's that colorway called again? Um, Spanish coin. Oh yeah. So um, Melissa of Sweet Fiber is an incredible Canadian dyer. And Vera did this gorgeous colorwork sweater. That yoke, how the yoke is a completely different than the bottom of a sweater. Isn't it beautiful? That's stunning. These ladies really are. So, okay, this vest thing that Vera did, with it's like a turtleneck. You guys, in our climate, we would wear the oh hell out of that. Um, oh, oh, it's, it's so long. long. What? I didn't realize it's it called the Happy Place Vest. Yes, it is, Vera. She looks great. Her hair's so much longer than when we she saw her last. She does look great. They both are just... Well, it was all... Yes. Okay, Hohi's Mimi Cardigan is double-stranded mohair that she fades from color to color. Is it only mohair? Yes. So this is... But you can use DK weight yarn. You don't have to use mohair, but I this love is this idea. Madeline Tosh. Mm-hmm. And she had got a gradient mohair and decided to hold it double and just fade it from one. Well, red. like she bought four or five colors. Oh, I thought it was a kit. Like she made a gradient. Got it. Um, okay. For but me, yes, it is spectacular. I know. You're right, Jody. And how it gradiates from that deep cherry color to that bright kind of. She is stunning in this bright red. Yeah. I love, I, lo I was going to say, I love, you know, I know we love, we can love neutrals, but honestly, a color is just such a beautiful thing to have a garment like that. And then Vera does so many beautiful cabled, cabled patterns. That is so beautiful on her. Anyway, we just thought we would share the patterns today. This new wrap that Hohe did, this actually, that's in Suburban Stitcher Yarn. This, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it is. Yeah. She, she's been in the last few, Diane. She has such... Um, Isn't that exciting? Yeah. That's the Lady Bird wrap. And I I really want to knit it because I think Hohe's done something a little bit different different with the slip stitches. I think she said something like she will just pull her work to the other end of the needle and do some different things. Oh, that's interesting. That's she a beautiful She experimented color. with slip stitches and geometric shapes. Um, wow. Of course she did. It looks, she invented a new craft. <laughs> That's just a Tuesday for Hope. Yeah. We it's are beautiful. such, such fans. She's such an amazing person and the designs. Anyway, I wanted to share that today because it's finally out. So if you want a book, you can get books. Not at our shop. Local We're yarn shops. We've got more coming, but honestly, you can just go get a digital copy for, if you want to get knitting today, you can go to wherever, you can go to Interpretations website, I think Pom Pom website, Ravelry, and just buy a digital copy and you can get it instantly. If you yes. do buy a book, every book comes with a digital download code. Yeah. So even if you buy the book on Pom Pom's site, you get the digital download code right away. So mm. you can wait for the wait for it to arrive, but you get the digital down co download code. So, and I believe these are all available individually as well on Ravelry, is what Hohe, I was watching a live thing they did the other day. Is that new? I think so. Okay. But I don't know for sure, Joe. Okay. I don't know when that started, but I do believe Hohe said they're available individually as well as as a book. Okay. But I think when you purchase the book, it's like the value, I think you save a lot when you, for the, it's 12 patterns. Yes. Yeah, so you guys. save a lot when you buy the book. It's it seems like you get yeah so much more value. Love it. Look at that. One last little sh shout out there. So that was beautiful and new. Very exciting. I love. Ooh, a lot of book talk today. I love so it. much. So much exciting thing has come out this fall. It's these new books and patterns. Yeah. yeah. And especially if you're a knitter and you're gifting to other knitters, these books would be such a good gift. Mm -hmm. And let them knit their own stuff. Totally. Right? Here's a You're book. On your own. Have at it. Okay. Holly and Jolly Socks by This Handmade Life. Have, did you see these on Instagram? No. Yes. I did not. Those are gorgeous and so cute. Are you kidding? These would be great for your advents. They would. Or a self striping and a solid. Yes. That's super cute. But look at the different textures, you guys. And the, oh, I love everything about these Her socks. colors are gorgeous. What yarn did she use? That's really pretty. 
red stag fiber. Oh, okay. It's a fingering weight yarn. It is so cute. Uh, there's a fish lip kiss heel. Um, oh, there's different heels you can put in. She says she included a short row heel, but here's a bunch of other types of short row so heels. So you can just put in your own heel that yeah. you love. You guys, these are so pretty. That's so cute. I have missed that, Joad. I did not Don't see that. Don't look like, like Mrs. Claus should be wearing these? Yes, pretty much. <laughs> right? Or anybody that gets very festive. Yeah. I love that. Do you have any more patterns? Uh, no. Uh, not right now. Okay. You want to share another one? Yes. That I saw. Tin Can Knits just came out with a pattern. Beautiful. And then this one. I saw that one too. Okay, these are the last two. We're back at the beginning. So Tin Can Knits came out with another yoked sweater. I love it. Thank goodness. There's right. never enough yoked sweaters. They also, you guys, came out with the, the hat in this motif. I had never heard of the use, like making a cowl or a hat as your swatch before right. Tin Can Knits. I love that idea. Yeah. So underachiever Alexa of Tin Can Knits knit like everyone in her family a yoke sweater <laughs> so that must be how addictive it is right so this is another beauty from tin can knits it's a beautiful yoke sweater and i don't know what yarn it takes probably dk i'm guessing or worsted yeah please don't do fingering i would be i i, I doubt I, it is they have a couple but not very many. It's mostly the heavier yeah. weight. Yeah. Stunning hat. Gorgeous. I love it. Okay. I have one more. Woven by Amy Miller. This was really cute. I'm obsessed with this. And I super love her color choices in that one. The caramel and black. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I can see it in so many colors. Yeah. I, this is brand new. It just came out. It is so gorgeous. It's the hat nobody's going to know you knit yourself because it looks like you bought it somewhere. Yes. I think. Beaver Canoe. So cute. Do you remember Beaver Canoe? Yes. Yeah, so are you kidding? My friends worked there. And they had like the red and black kind of motif that was kind of like... Kind of plaid, right? right? And this kind of just gave me that vibe. No, this is super, super, super cute. Love this. Love, love, love this. Yes. Okay, I promise. That's Jody, I love it. Homework. I love it. Okay. Um, okay, so my husband blew through his socks. He didn't. He did. I was thinking, what are those ratchet this is, socks? You right, why are you showing gross socks like that? So, the here's the good thing. When you, when it's through the toe, I'm literally just going to cut this off and make, knit a new toe. No big deal. This is all Patton's Croy sock yarn. Has he had it for a long time? Um, like full, full last winter. And he wears them a lot. He needs to work. work. No, but at home all the time. Yeah. Um, he needs more wool socks so that he can have a rotation of them. Because really, he only had a pair or two, and that's why they're blowing through. The heel has a oh. hole. It's really not so bad. But last year, I bought this darning mushroom from Buku Arona. I think her husband makes these. So there's an elastic thing here. Like, you put your, your heel... I've never used this thing. So okay, you Tracy. So you put your heel on here and you can put the elastic around if you want. And now I'm going to patch this. I'm going to get some more Patton's Croy and I'm going to weave it back and forth in a patch and knit a new toe and those socks will be Oh my god. Because look, they're fine. There's really totally. nothing. I've never mended a sock. I have chucked out socks that have holes in them. Are you going to really mend them? I'm totally going to do it, though. I love it. I can't wait to like, see Like, look, that. I'm ready to go. I don't... Hang on while I mend these socks. And I them. think I'll do it in, like, a different color so that it looks... Right, so it looks mended. Yeah, I'm not trying to hide that it's been mended. And the toe, this was just a gray. I'm pretty sure I still have more of the gray. I'm going to be interested to know how that feels under the ball of his, under the heel of his foot. Right. And if it, it feels bad, it. don't even tell me. I don't even care. Okay, just garbage. Wear them or don't wear them. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I think he'll wear them. She used an old burned out light bulb. That's good too. That would be perfect. Um, I think a lot of people do that. There's like darning eggs. This one is more of a mushroom shape. Okay. You can buy them lots of places. Um, but I did buy this and I haven't used it yet. So I thought I would show you guys that that's, that's, a, that's something that that's I'm going to That's amazing. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, right? Love it. If you could have your own... And that's not going to take very long. That's an evening. 
to knit a toe and maybe this is really not so bad if you could have your own sheep and a farm would you do i have to like am i the farmer no it's a lot of let me tell you it's a lot of work it's a lot of work i would like that okay i think i would like i would have to cut out all kinds of other things in my life i can't do all i can't do it all but it would be amazing when we were in Italy and I just, this farmer next door had a herd of sheep and I just got to see them every day. That's the best. So right? you like your neighbor to have some. The neighbor. And he would like, the sheep would come out every day at 730 in the morning and they would go back home every day at five o'clock. You would know exactly what time of day it was by the way, the time of these was sheep. Were there bells? Yep. Tons. It was super On loud. The sheep? Yep. Tons. So you couldn't sleep in? Uh, I didn't, I never did, but you know, when you were in the house, you wouldn't hear them, but oh, okay. when you were outside, of course, yes, you could, so beautiful. And it, it was awesome. I mean, did you feel like you were in a dreamland? It felt like I couldn't, I wanted to pinch myself every day Yeah. and not come home, like stay for six months. It was so, and there were so many fields and like, you know, farmers, olive farmers, you know, people with the vineyards and land. And yeah. so it wasn't all towns and cities where we were, it was quite you know, you were out, outside of a town. Yeah. But this sheep, I will never forget. It was awesome. Somebody just mentioned Caleb for Drowning in Yarn. Okay. He's a podcast. He yes. Has a great video tutorial on mending, different oh, things. Oh, good. And, okay. And Caleb from Drowning in Yarn is incredible. If you guys want to find, we've talked about him before, but he's an amazing podcaster. I, I so have to much catch information. Up, yeah, I loved his videos. And somebody said Stephanie Pearl McPhee has a Pat Patreon video. Yes. That has a mending. I love yeah, her. I, I love watch her all of her Patreon videos. Um, it's a six, I believe six dollars to get her. She got one level of Patreon and she is a wealth of knowledge. Like she, she has, she teaches all the time. Normally. She could be masterclass. Yes. Yes. Yeah. She is awesome yeah. awesome in the knitting awesome as a human i love her yeah yeah okay so that's it for me for patterns that's it for me for i want to see your bag okay sure so is this i got so lucky i caught an update from jenna I was jenna just, rose i was just gonna say is that jenna rose fabric who is an amazing maker she screen prints her own fabric which she's been doing for a long, long, long time. She makes linen tea towels. I'm so hard on my tea towels. I wouldn't want to use these. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. And I think this wow. one, her daughter, I believe did this pattern and then she ended up screen printing it. That's adorable. How cute is that? Aren't these beautiful? I'm, I'm totally going to use them. I guess that's like There's, that's what they're for. That's, that's like light the for. candle, or people are like I don't yeah. want to like light the candle. Light the candle. Use the tea towel. Take up the yarn you think you're saving for what? For what? Knit yeah. it up. Wear it. Use it. Love it. Um, but she did an update, and she had this kind of new bag, and I was like, "What's that all about?" So it's like, oh my god, what the heck is that? God, she's a beautiful maker. I swear. So it's. I think that this is waxed canvas on top. Wow, I'm just gonna. This is a thick linen. So she's got, you've got pockets on either side and it's got this drawstring that you can carry it like that, but it's quite roomy. And then of course you can um, she's make got pillows. She does lots of, she does giant like duffel bags, weekender bag, like. <laughs> Her stuff. There's oh, there's bag. the bag. It came in different colors. She had a whole bunch of different color options. I, oh, you could pick any of them. So, and then you can turn it into a bucket bag, just like that, if you wanted to wow. just sit and knit out of it. Our um, holiday open house is coming up on Saturday, December 11th. <gasps> You'll be able to shop my piece. It's in so in person open house this weekend. The ah. only good thing about that, I mean, she doesn't live here. She lives in Mississippi. No, she's in Ontario or Quebec, Ontario. Oh, sorry, it. Mississippi Station. Okay, she's Ontario. Yes. Okay. The only good thing about that is that she'll have maybe a little update after. Maybe. Right. Perhaps. Does she have nothing in her shop right now? But see, there's her. Yeah. 
Oh my god, that's so cute. So, oh look, she did it in gold. She does so many pouches, and all of her fabrics are screen printed original art by her. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, really and she cool. uses beautiful linens and canvas and stuff like that, and leather. So I don't know what she has. Oh my gosh, you Ontario people. If you're close enough to go to She's the thing. She's got stock in her shop, you guys. That bag you just showed, Trace? Does she? Yep. Great. All the, and several fabrics. I actually fabrics. thought it was a really good price, too. $65. Lots of pouches. The pouches the are zippers. amazing. I actually have a collection of those for travel. You can get them in all different sizes. Like for when you travel, you can have, you know, your makeup in one or whatever. Okay, this is what, this she is where was, it started. I think, yes. With her the bucket bags. She's got tall ones and she's got medium and she's got small. But you guys, oh, look at that one. That's gorgeous. So she, on her card, she says hand printed textile goods. So she does so many different things. Ooh, I like but that. Mushroom. her other business, I think, if I have this correct, she and her husband are cheese makers. I think you're right. You said that before. You guys, there's a what? Her shop is loaded. Good. Oh my gosh, that's great. Journal, she did journals. The pillows are beautiful too. Love the pillows. I love that fabric with the, this fabric with the big gold flower. Yeah. I love it. Marigolds. That's what Gorgeous. it reminds me of. Anyway, loaded. And that's not all the time, you guys. So that's, that's lucky. I think she, well, she did a big update. Look, I have a noodle. I don't know where that came from. That must've been from, I don't know where, how did that? Oh my God. Speaking Gross. of that. Gross. What's wrong with me? I cranked 36, 36 DK2s yesterday. My How arm, long did that take? Hours. Yeah, that would hurt. Hours. Four or That's... five hours. Four hours. Five hours. Yeah. Long time. Yeah. But I was also eating ginger chicken with rice. <laughs> so if someone gets a sock to no! with a dry piece of rice, I tried to make sure I... <sighs> anyway. Gross. I'm not saying they're... There couldn't be a piece of rice it could dried to your tube. It could happen. Um, our friend Janet makes these adorable baby booty kits. I don't know if you have a baby to knit for, but if you do, this is what you need. She uses uh, um, Everly yarn, which is like an eco-friendly, organic, I believe, yarn. Could that cake be tinier? It's just the cutest thing ever. And the, the pom-poms are snap-on. Or tie. And she gives you yarn to thread, like to to tie them on if you want to, to sew them on. <gasps> you guys. Just the cutest thing ever. You could knit what hat out of that, a baby hat probably. A newborn with a top. A newborn, maybe, with the little. But anyway, it's meant to be a booty kit. It is gorgeous. And the instructions and everything are on the back. That's a really cute kit. She sent us a bunch of these to do a giveaway, and we are definitely doing that. But the yarn. I love that. Everything is so beautiful. Oh, there's like so many colors. She sent us all the colors. Oh, the hot pink's cute. Peachy blush. Very blush. Cute little oh. caramel goldy color. And okay, this one might even be one of my favorites with the lavender and the dark purple. Anyway, so gorgeous. beautiful. Thank you, Janet. Gorgeous. Janet the pom-pom queen. Now I just have things I bought. Okay. How about you? I did buy some yarn, Jode. And I bought a basket. I did bring a basket. I'm so bummed I didn't bring it. I had to start. I got the giant one. I was surprised by how big this was. It's amazing. This is another Bustani basket. Which I are... The these, guys, these guys are made... In Kenya, handmade by a collective in Kenya. This is a fair trade. Um, it's a group of artisans and it is made by sisal, like the sisal plant. So it's it feels like those sisal carpets that you, or outdoor carpets, it's super sturdy. Super this bag, sturdy and beautiful. This bag is made of steel now. It's, yeah. Basically. So sturdy. No, but they're like, it's flexible. I it's love the so leather handles. Good. I I love, I just thought I'm going to get a fun, stripey, bright colored one. There is, you guys, every size, color, style, combination that you can think of mm -hmm. is in their shop. And they're in, I don't, I don't know that it's exactly Vancouver, but somewhere out that way. Yeah. 
is where they are. Lois is the proprietor. Lois and Joy. Beautiful. Uh, mother and daughter. And part of their family is over in Kenya also making... making Her sister. Yeah, that's amazing. Yes. You must follow them on Instagram. No, aunt. Sorry. One of her aunties. It's Joy's... Joy's auntie? No. Or Lois's auntie? Lois's auntie okay. is part of the tribe okay. of the women that make... Your bag could have been made by her. Well, that would be incredible. It is... Ha everything is handmade. Yeah. Ethically sourced, fair trade, supporting makers in Kenya. I yeah. love it. Um, and it's very, like, you can get it wet and it'll just dry. Like, it's not... It's They're very sturdy. Right? Very sturdy. They also make beautiful olive wood. I believe it's carved olive wood, if I'm remembering properly. Um, like spoons, like salad tongs and stuff. And the small type of bowls. This one's a heart with a little... Isn't it beautiful? Like it could be a sugar dish or what else would you yeah. do with that? I love Salt it. Salt cellar. Yes. Yes. Just Again, beautiful. totally hand carved. I mean, how much more beautiful i love handmade things i love it too so i'm going to start with that because i love it and the orange is of course so bright and fun yeah they're it's they're they're beautiful i would love bags. to see that process like obviously they're dying yes certain yes plant like they're dying the sizal at some point before they're weaving it that would be so fun to apparently to watch from the beginning yes the whole start yeah. to finish yeah. apparently the women that have been doing it for like years and years and years have like calloused thighs so bad because like it's now like it's now really leathery on their skin because they use it apparently oh. it like rips like to begin with she, her aunt said she would never show Lois I hope I'm getting this right how to actually do that part of like the rolling of the sizal on their the women's Is that thighs what she said? because it just it eats up your skin until it gets thick and calloused but let me tell you these it is very physical and these women how they it's incredible if you follow them on instagram you get a glimpse into yes. how the bat baskets are made where the baskets come from some of the gorgeous ladies look there she is working on a basket like look at that you guys she doesn't even have to look and they're woven so tightly it must I mean, they make it look really, really, really easy, but and you're it's support, not. You're it's supporting art. these women who, who otherwise, this is like this is their job. And if people aren't buying their bags, these women aren't getting money yeah. back to live it's and support huge, their families. So I bought one, sort of as more of a storage bag, but it would be great for like if you're going on a car trip, you could load a bunch of stuff yes. in it. If you're going to the beach, if you're going to go have a picnic, if you're going to do that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't really buy it for a specific purpose, but you can do so much with it that I know I'm going to use it a lot. These are some of the spoons that they also oh, have in their so website. Uh, I got mine. Mine is bigger than that, Tracy. It's taller and it's a, more round. I'm going to roll some blankets up in the living room and just idea. have them stuffed in there. That's a great idea. Yeah. Um, they do have a sale going to till the end. Oh, that was till the end of November. Sorry, you missed out. Uh, but they've got ones that are handbags. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Right? Like how great to Every have a, like, a woven size. purse for summer, hot yeah. weather. Um, it's great. It feels really, really good to find a company like this. Yeah. Like this. Like you said, Joe, it's right by the bed. Yeah. It's got a basket in it. How gorgeous is that? Don't put your stinky underwear in no. it. I feel like it's better than that. Oh, look at that one. She looks. <gasps> oh, I love the tan and the orange. The... Isn't yeah. that beautiful? They're so good with color. They just, anyway, a million and one reason, ways to carry them. I like the little one. I should get a little Their one. Their Instagram like that. pictures are beautiful. Was yes. that Joy modeling that? Uh, maybe. Could that be Joy? Anyway. She's so beautiful. Anyway, okay. The baskets are fantastic. I will link their shop. Um, and at a certain point, you get free shipping. Like, I don't think I paid. This was, this was a I sale. I also got free shipping. And so, yeah. check them out, you guys. I, I know you'll love it. Love it. If you love baskets like we do, yeah, that's a great place to get your baskets. God, we're already, two, we're, we're 15 minutes away from three hours. Oh my, no, we're not. Yes, we are. Okay. Um, just so you know, time check. Just, okay. Sonder yarns. Yes. 
had their very first update. They're up and running, Melissa and her partner, Tanya. Tanya, who Melissa was a Spastrico, mm -hmm. one half of Spastrico. Mm -hmm. And they are now, they have now transitioned and they're called Sondra Yarns. Mm -hmm. I shit the bed and bought a lot of stuff. What? This is what I'm thinking the Tiff Nealon sweater will be. It's going to be mohair head with, held with fingering. And it's really? Be, yes. Jody. What do you think? I think that's awesome. And oh. look at these colors. Oh, you were going to love it. You don't have a mohair fingering sweater. <gasps> I have a I have a love note. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. But I love it so much that I'm going to... Jody, that's so beautiful. I can't believe the hot pink. Yes! This is going to be my sweater. Is the is this going in it? I don't it's so know. It's so good with pink. Do you think? And gray. Yeah, it's so good. Do you good. think this yes. should go in there? Yes. Okay. I do. That was my first intention. Are yes. you kidding me? Jody, it's so funny because I bought a bunch of, okay, any yarn that used to be a Spastrico label, like their house yarn, is now, you'll find it all in Sonder. Yarn. Hi, Max. Hmm? Hi, Max. <laughs> Max is here. Is he? Yeah. Good morning. Um, so this is going to be my sweater. Uh, it's freaking fabulous. So I chose this base. I didn't even know. Trey said, oh, you got a bougie base. No, I said I love the cashmere. Um, I know. I'm making it sound better than it was. <laughs> what is... Oh, you know what? Look at... I No, that's not... They did their labels. That's Luna. Did you buy Luna? Yeah. No, I no. bought I bought some different stuff. Okay, that's okay. This is that's so soft, Jody. This is the one. It's non superwash. That's the one I knit my Miserina sweater out of. Okay, so good. And they also intentionally made their label so you're not searching. I was just looking for it. You're not searching for the fiber content. Listen, I think their labels are brilliant. Hi, Georgia. George. How was work? Okay. We're podcasting. Can I just see that for a second? Yeah, I didn't realize. So, this is, I think this might have the wrong tag on it. This is the same bait. This is your cashmere. I think Luna's so. Luna's a lace weight. That's okay. No biggie. The You got the the Lux base. These are all the same. Look. Um, Lux. Luna, though, Luna is amazing. And it is lace weight BFL. 100% BFL. I held it double to make a fingering. And weight. then it's, I got their halo. Yeah. So beautiful. So, so this is Lux. You got Lux. And Halo, which is the moment. And the only reason why it's not caked up, because I've had this worsted book for a while in my house, right, is because there's other a few things for Christmas I want to get done. Otherwise, that that sweater would have been on my needle so fast. And she had kits. <gasps> so this is a hat kit. Look. The colorway is called the Snowman. Did you get the same one? This is Lux and Halo. And it and she had a hat kit. So you kind of just got that. Uh, but really, what I um purchase for myself for look at that pink i thought a stripey sweater <gasps> look at these three together um oh you're kidding oh it's gorgeous so I'm this is it's not this totally is different. all dk and i actually have navy i have a couple of skeins already it is what's this so soft okay so this is the dk this is sunday morning Ooh. dk Oh, Which, oh, it's so beautiful. This is the fingering weight. So I have a fingering weight um, sweater in this color, Jode. This light. And I thought this would be a good color work. It's beautiful. Pop or stripes or whatever. So I got the fingering weight in that. Beautiful. And I got the, which is um, Dream State, which is a oh. super dark teal. Oh my gosh, I love it. I have that. It's and beautiful. then Farmer's Market is this beautiful kind of apple green in fingering weight. And I thought socks. Their names are good. It's a 75% BFL, 25% um, Massam. I don't know. But BFL's great for socks. BFL's great for socks. So I sturdier. thought these might be some nice socks. It's so beautiful. It was hard. I It was hard to choose. I'm actually just as surprised that I got fingering and mohair. No, it's going to be so good. You're going to love it. But it's going to be that Tiffany Lynn sweater. Oh, it's so just good. gonna because I well, actually my first thought was Andrew Maui's stripey sweater. Yeah, but then I see Tiffany Lynn's and I think it might be that. No, I love it. I love those are both great pattern patterns. I would knit either of them. I love the um, non conform like all the stripes are different widths. And That's tips, what I, and I yeah. like that a lot. Yeah, I love it too. Yeah. 
So actually, I didn't buy a hat kit because I think the hat kits were sold out of this color. But I just ended up getting single skeins. And that's Surrey, not mohair. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so mine was not a kit. This, I actually wondered if they put this in as a gift, but I think I purchased it. I it's think, so I, beautiful. Um, this is a kit, and it's the Surrey, and it's single. They're gray space, you guys. Oh, that's that's got silk in it. This is Muse. Muse, Muse is the colorway. It's like, is that Merino silk cashmere? Yeah. Merino cashmere silk. Okay, you guys, this is, this is very luxurious and beautiful. It's kind of like, this is it mushroom? Great. Is it mauve? It's a, it's is a, it blot? Like, it's a taupey lilac. Yes. Right? I don't know what Melissa would say, but there's for sure, <gasps> it is a hint of purple, but there's also like the silvery grayish. It's so good. Gosh, Jory, that's beautiful. Yeah, I don't, it's not, I don't know if it's going to be the hat, but I just got a kit. But look at that hat, you guys. It's one of those just folded brim, but she's got like inside out texture, reverse stockinette. I love that. And stockinette. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, Melissa is a beautiful designer. Yeah. Is that her hat pattern? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. It's beautiful. She's such a beautiful designer. Um, okay. It was hard to choose. They had when, beautiful things. When I didn't buy myself an advent calendar, I was trying to get this solstice box from Woolly Mammoth Fibers, but I totally screwed up. I don't know how I screwed up the time change, but somehow I did. But anyway, I ended up catching her update. You wanted her advent? I wanted this solstice box that she did. Oh. It was like a candle and a mug and that sounds non nice. superwash yarn and stuff. But uh, Emma is a natural dyer in Northern Ireland, and all of her yarns are mostly sourced and spun and everything in Ireland. So okay. it's all like sheep that are local to her. She just um, released this. It's called Hearth Sock. It's a non superwash sock base. It's brand new. It's a new yarn for her. Her colors are beautiful. So I bought this. This is indigo dyed. I'm obsessed this with this. The combo? Yes. And then this one is called Cognac. So I have indigo and Cognac. Well, that's um, a good name. Fingering though. weight. And that candle. Stop I got that candle. Jody. The, yes. It's so good. She had some things in the shop in this update. I honestly, I had just got my hair cut. I'm driving through this neighborhood. I pulled over. And you missed it? No, I got it. That's okay. how I got this stuff. Okay. I had to like go to- Is that go, how fast it goes? Yes. It goes so fast. So she had a maker's market kind of in her shop. So she had, um, I think she had stitch markers. This candle is made for you. Y E W. It's you guys. It's lemon, lime, and lavender. It's like it's magic like, in a jar. It's like you opened your window and it's the freshest spring day. You like it's lemon and it's light and bright. I love it. I thought it was just beautiful. Do you want it? No. Why not? I got I got lots of yarn and stuff. I thought this was really nice. Hand poured in Northern Ireland. Will you let you should take it? No. Jody, you have it. Here's Pain. <gasps> take it. Thank you. I love it so much. Um this is oh. her other sock base. She's called her natural sock. And she does sock sets and stuff. I just thought this was pretty, really pretty. Wow. Yeah, all naturally dyed. Everything's naturally dyed. She's and now she's on maternity leave. She just had a baby and she's made several updates recently and now she's on a break for a that few was months. another maker that just like really inconvenient for a year to have a, you'd have a baby because there was yarn i wanted right it wasn't this one it was another maker and i can't remember her name but it was this this early fall and i'm like, like how dare you have a life but just a minute i wanted more yarn this is my other bustani basket see the size difference this one was smaller that blue is so pretty in there isn't that nice this yeah. one i can absolutely use as a handbag in the summer yeah it's not too big love it um, it actually kind of matches the yarn. Uh, Jody, this is crazy. So this is actually extra long video, and that's good because we're taking a break. We're taking a break. Um, we will have, we'll put our information out on our Instagram page about, and I think, when are we going to, when do we want to get together with our knitter friends on Zoom? I don't know. You're not ending this, are you? I have a couple more things. Oh, I'm not ending. Okay, good. No, you're not ending. I was. That we can show Sorry. later. That we can show later. No, no. I show just have a I thought we were ending. No. Okay. Jesus. Uh, okay. So, um. Sorry about that. Um, 
a couple things that were Simmer and Co. I know a, a lot of you wanted, you, you guys wow, loved Simmer and Co. Even through the package, that smells amazing. We got a restock yesterday and I added them last night to the shop. So it's, they're fully stocked on these simmering, these really beautiful simmer pot things. And here's the thing, if you're international, like if you're in the U.S., we still, I mean, you have tons of time to get stuff for Christmas using the DHL shipping. Yeah. It's not a worry at all. Yeah. Um, we, and I still think Canadians, if you order quickly, that you can still get your stuff before They Christmas. did say that because we have, yeah. we, we, up, we got expedited shipping. We get expedited, not just regular, it's expedited shipping. It's okay. one step faster than regular shipping yeah. in Canada. So you can still get yeah. these things as gifts if you want. These are amazing. Uh, we have, we did, I don't think I changed my DHL price. It's still at the lower price oh, for the rest of the month. So anybody shopping in the U.S., I'll make sure your package gets out DHL. You'll have it for Christmas. And then this, we had a few of these restocked. So we, if anyone's looking for this, you guys, this strange brew book. It's way more than patterns. I know we've said it before, but maybe you weren't here that day. It is a workshop on color work knitting, sweater knitting. More than that. It's yeah. about color theory. It's yeah. about, um, you know, Alexa teaches the class called Strange Brew, and she teaches you about rate of increase in your yoke. That's all in this book. Like if you, And it really is, Strange Brew is the whole ideology of, Here's the pattern. Here's a bunch of color motifs. Yeah. Use that and create your own work of art, like your very own sweater that nobody else would have. Yeah. Um, and they've got your back with all the pattern numbers. They've got it in all these different weights of yarn. You can knit DK. You can knit worsted, um, fingering. It's, it's yeah. It's all in that book. It's just, it's way more than patterns. Yeah. Oh, that's why I brought it because it's so good. We love it it's so much. It's also a great gift because it is... If you don't have that, oh uh, if, and it, it, if you have to someone that you love that likes to knit color work, and they don't have this, I would say this is the this is the thing. Right, this is the thing. They can get their yarn and their own thing. Um, this one, I don't that's know. always stood out to me. That one is so pretty. I feel like, is this the fingering weight one? This is the fingering weight one. That's probably why you've never knit it. <laughs> totally. But. I could take that motif and just count it out. Yeah, you swatch it out. Yes. And But I was wearing my Mountain Mist the other day, and I thought to myself how much I love that pattern. That was my first ever color work yoke, and it's so beginner-friendly. Super-duper beginner-friendly. And there's your marshland that you I knit. I just wore it the other day. Anyway. Um, they just keep sending out amazing things and this this was my introduction um to their yoke knitting sweaters and their patterns like always are so size inclusive you guys it's like newborn to baby to big they call it okay that's i love it and that is like very large adults from newborn to very large okay super size inclusive yeah love that is is a better and way to say their it their patterns couldn't be more easy to follow and totally gender neutral yes right yes uh, anybody can so i just think there's just so much value in that you can knit the same pattern with different colors for everybody that you know yeah and there's a right? code download code oh yes this has a digital copy yeah. so if you want the you can put it in your book. ravelry library yeah you can have yeah. digital copies so tips for stranded knitting swat how to swatch and they give you look at this you guys like there's a oh. stitch Color work stitch dictionary in here. That is it's so really good. I know we've talked about it before. It's not about selling books. It's about telling you, yeah, that this is something we love in our own library, yeah. and it's love not it. about. Love I'm it. not trying to sell you a book. I'm just trying to tell you how much I love something. Okay, so um, the last thing I'm going to finish with is um, yarn that we dyed this week. To okay. the max, you guys. Some of this, and it's available. We did it on DK fingering and mohair. And okay. green. This is called Evergreen, and Jordan did this. I should what a, I love dyeing mohair. It's so beautiful. Um, so this is shown on mohair and fingering, but we also have So do you guys do that then? Like will Jordan yes. be dyeing sock and you'll be dyeing mohair no. of the same color? She'll dye, she'll have four pans going with two pans being fingering, one pan DK, and one this pan mohair. Is stunning. Yeah. What a beautiful green. It's and a that brand dark new green speckle. we just got. It's the same color speckled. 
It's and the same color pour. So pretty. Okay, the next color I'm going to show you. Oh, I love that. It's called Speakeasy. <gasps> That's so pretty. You guys, this so is so pretty. A brand new color called Speakeasy. That is stunning, Dode. It's tonal. There's going to be variations, but I love That's that one. That's gorgeous. Okay, this one. Good name, too, guys. I mean, sometimes the mohair doesn't turn out as gorgeous, but this is Lisa Frank. That's awesome. Yeah, that's beautiful. Lisa Frank is also on DK. I'll show you DK. I have it here. <gasps> These are two brand new colors. This is a brand new color with two brand new dyes that we just got. Mm, I love it. This is called Amethyst. Look at that. Beautiful. Very fine. Like it's a tone on tone. Um, oh, we restocked oh, this. We it. This is called Sugar Plum Fairy. This was a restock because we had people asking. That's such a good one. Joe. This was my MVP of the day. <gasps> what is that? This is called Toadstool. That is really rich It also and has this color speckled all over it's it. It's really beautiful. This is Toadstool. I couldn't, I, you guys, what these colors did, it was, I pushed myself to use colors that I hadn't used before. Look at Maddie's I was going to say, we're at your daughter's in the chat. Um, Good daughter coming to mom's YouTube channel. She's at lunch with her friends. Aww. Shout out Kellen, shout out Maddie, shout <laughs> out Parker. Um, so this was my favorite color. This, you guys, did I bring the sock too? Okay, did I tell you about meeting Parker? No. I was going through the till at IGA and somebody said, He's, and Jules says, um, are you a grocery knit girl with Jody Brown? And I said, I was just like, not in that zone. I was like, yes, hi, I'm Parker. It's like, oh he's a gosh. doll. I he swear. was so sweet, but it was just like, that came out of left field. That is so funny. It was adorable. He was very sweet. So Maddie doesn't ever want me to pack her lunch. And she doesn't want to make a lunch. She just doesn't want to take one. But she said, just said they had a great grilled cheese in the cafeteria. I love to hear that. Because she comes home starving. There's nothing so like a good she, grilled cheese on white bread. Fake cheese. I mean, it's not really fake, but Kraft Singles. Yes, whatever that is makes yeah. a great grilled cheese. Okay, so I last time we did sock tubes, people really loved them. And they were DK tubes. And so what I did was there's we added 35 DK sock tubes with minis to the shop. And this is what it's gonna look like. That's awesome. What I didn't do last time, and I didn't realize I should have, is put waste yarn, right? So then you can, you have all those stitches you can just pick up and start knitting. That's okay. Or wind some off. Sure. But I did them a little different. This is that new one. That's unbelievable. This that's is speakeasy. This is, this... Yes, that's it in DK. Oh, okay, yes, 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 yes. That's in DK. Okay. So that's in the shop. I love the colors of minis you put with that. That's Lisa Frank cracked that's up in DK. Crazy. This is ridiculous. What, right? what could we possibly have to say that three hours worth? Okay, this is one of our white elephants. That's really pretty. That's insane. And most of them are different. This is burnt amber. I love that. Isn't that pretty? Yes. This is just a snippet, you guys. I actually probably have 28 different colored socks. And they're tubes. literally, get it while you can. Because you're not, this is not something you do all the right. time. Right, yeah, Okay. This was. That's beautiful. Wild, wild west. Is that what that is? Didn't that yes. crank up nice? Look how evenly, beautifully speckled that okay, is. Okay, that's one thing I have to say is, like I'm you proud, proud of our proud dying of yourself. because yes. from the beginning to the end, it looks even. Well. Look at that. Yes, that looks beautiful. This What's is that called one? chocolate raspberry truffle it's really fun to see how things uh knit up too yes right and this was old town oh, I road love that. that's really weird so i just bought a few brought a few because i didn't want to carry them all but there is a ton oh yeah you guys ton. are doing such a good job and then what 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 i this would make an amazing hat i mean they would make amazing everything yes all do you want to keep that you can keep whatever you want jody i don't even like saying that anymore because now i get so much we you don't a, let me buy anything we have a Earl Bar Barker, Gerhardt, Gerhardt, Earl Barker? No, Earl, Earl Barker. Bar Earl Bach. Jody's like, what do we have? <laughs> Earl Barker, Gerhardt, Speedster is what it's yeah. called. So if you go to their website, I think there's 
you can you can check it out. And if you have questions, the go there because yeah. we are not the experts, but they have their amazing customer service. We can tell you that these sock machines are built to last. And if you take care of it, it's going to last they're cast, 100 years. They're cast steel. It's going to last 500 years. Yeah. Yeah. The quality is unbelievable and the customer service has been nothing but top notch. Yeah. So we would highly recommend. They're not inexpensive, but if you were in the market of a sock machine, I would highly recommend you check out this brand. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I and it's not it's not inexpensive because every bit of it is handmade. Right. Right. It, but the, but the price tag people might not know. Yeah, it is it is not. But I think sometimes you have to consider what what it is what it is as well yeah. as the price. Yeah. Um but it is definitely yeah. pricey. I will agree. She I will agree with baby tax on her. Yes. Wow. On like a 48 like, there's lots of things you can do with these things. We just don't do everything yet, right. but we will. Right. Yeah. Crazy. And I mean, if you get big, you know, like a bigger cylinder and you make your stitch big, you could crank, um, like, long, two cowly things. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the reason. Okay. So, Tracy and I were gifted so generously for our birthday yes. from our mom. Yes. For one machine that... You're not always cranking. So I would come over and bring yarn. We would have two yeah. talk in the morning yeah. and crank. Yeah. And then what happened was, is with the yarn business, I thought being able to crank tubes and, and that's why there's a second one in play. I think lots of dyers are, are doing that thing because you can, how valuable is it to see how your yarn knits up and yet how much time do you really have to do that? Right? Yeah. So... There are lots, and there's other people that make sock machines. I just can't speak to what they're like. We're only, we've only ever used the one. Yeah. So I'm uh, sure as far as just getting it going, like to crank a tube, which is the most basic thing, mm -hmm. it was not hard. Yeah. No. Right? It was oh, not hard. And with me too, getting the second machine, it was like, I had already known. We yeah. Right. Worked out I mean, I'll case. say that tension is everything in machine knitting, just like hand knitting. Mm -hmm. That was, yes. that was everything. Learning your stitch size and your yarn thickness and even yarns like BFL is, uh, even if it's fingering weight, like Merino versus BFL, the BFL is very sticky and, and you need to make your stitch slightly bigger because it, it just, it's just different. It's really interesting and it's really fun. I'm just going to show you the quick little boomerang I made yesterday. Okay. Oh, yes. There's so much. Wow, you have so many tubes in your shop. So many tubes. I can't even. Okay. This is a little boomerang, so it's That's back, so and, cute. back and forth. But that was me yesterday. It's really fun to do. It's yeah. really fun to do. And... Oh, we've just learned so much. So <gasps> there was a gingerbread one. I had one skein for some reason that wasn't listed and it was gingerbread. Look oh, how great those look. Good job. Oh, that's okay. Just a second. Right there. Oh, and it beautiful. turned out self stripey. That's beautiful. Yeah. That was so gingerbread. Isn't that great? So that was 48 stitches, 48 stitches. And it's in the listing. It's, it's how do you list them? Do you list it like stitches per inch or the width of your... I did gauge and I did length. Great. Um, I don't think Maddie's probably kidding about Kellen pushing Parker down the stairs, but... What? I didn't see who that. Who knows? He's, she said an ambulance is coming. That's Whoville. That's amazing. I only had one skein of that left. I still have a tube of Whoville. I'm going to make those socks for myself, so I haven't finished my tube yet. I did that one in fingering. It's so gorgeous. Your Lisa Frank is amazing. Look at those. Yeah, they're fun. Jody, amazing job. This one I feel like is my new favorite. Keep it. No, I'm not keeping it. Yeah. Toadstool is, look how rich that is. Tracy, that has a gray base with two speckles over top. And I'll tell you about it. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, honestly, blah bitty blah this is the longest ever. It's ridiculous. It's so... I have a 56 cylinder for my... No, I don't. Yes, you have I do. a 48. I have a 48 cylinder for a my... 48 DK and stuff. a 64. Yes. Um, I feel like a 56 would be nice with sport weight yarn. I do too. Yeah. 
It's amazing. So I'm definitely getting better at it. It's just, it's another type of, it's a craft to learn. Like there's lots to learn. Not so much just for the tube making, but to actually crank a sock to get your ribber to work and all that stuff. So I'm not done at all with it, but actually, I'm loving the, the, the hum picture hum. looks quite different because it's quite bright, like really different. Weird. I'm taking. I would probably knit Hannah a hat with this. Done. I'm giving it to you. Do you mind? Oh no. my god, Jody. Let it's me pay you. Not a chance. You just like gave me. Sick. We trade these. Okay. You gave me the candle. Oh my god. Okay, I will take the trade. Thank you. And I'm taking. A I hat. love that color. Actually, see, I, I could get three hats out of this. Yes. Tracy. If I really wanted to. So I can make myself a hat out of it or mittens or whatever. I actually meant to bring it just to show. It's not in the shop, but I cranked a tube for DK. You never know what this is really going to turn out like in the pans. But I'm That's using, really beautiful. Um, any yarn dyers out there, um, get mahogany. Oh. Mahogany was the MVP of the dye day the okay. other day. It's, and then you've combined it with other things, which is, yeah. you know, where the art comes in. Yeah. You guys are doing so good. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to cake it up and start it today. That will be what. Oh, I can't wait. I'll get a, I'll send you a picture. Okay. Um, and we just also wanted to, to say that we know holidays are not easy for everybody. So I guess if you need someone to visit with on the holidays, here Call we Tracy. are. <laughs> here we are. Yeah. But I want you to know that we're thinking of you. Right? Yeah, we are. It's not easy for everybody. Um, yeah. Everyone's situation is different. Whether It's true. Yeah. And I mean, people are just going through hard times all the time, but I think it just feels worse Yeah. now. Yeah. Right? And even, you know, not being able to get together with your family. I don't know what everybody's COVID situation is like, and I don't know what that's going to look like even for our family. Yeah. Um, but we I just want you to know that we, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You never know what people are going through. Mm -hmm. Um. And we just want to yeah. tell you that we, we know that and we're here yeah. for you. We're sending our love. We are. Um, we're going to figure out the best day to do our little knit get together. And I don't know if that means during the week or Saturday morning or what, but we'll have that figured out for you this weekend and it will be sometime next week. Yeah. So if you guys have, um, why don't we just let this run for the weekend? If you guys have times that work better for you, is this a time that works well on a Thursday or a Saturday? Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a good time, you know, maybe 10 or 11 in the morning mountain time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, does it, would it be better on a weekend or would it be better on a weekday? Like a probably? Saturday morning? Yeah. I would feel like Saturday is probably better for people, but are you just so busy that it doesn't Here's the really thing. I, I mean, if we want to get our European friends, Thursday evening's not great because it's like after midnight. Oh, just a minute. Thursday morning, this time would be good because it would be evening. Yeah. Our time, I think, is good. Somewhere in the our morning yeah. is good for lots of people. Um, but should we do that during the week or should we do that on a Saturday? Right. I mean, there's something to be said about our usual Thursday time slot. Right. We could just come back next week and just be in our pajamas. We're going to Zoom it. And actually, if you don't want to join the Zoom, we're going to stream it through YouTube. So you're going to be able to stream it and watch it as usual. Right. If you don't want to join in the Zoom. We hope people want to join in the Zoom. Yeah, we do too. We, we want do. to see your knitting. Mm -hmm. We want to say hi to your faces. Yeah. That would be the whole reason to do Zoom. Yeah. Um, if you don't think Zoom is a good idea, then we could certainly go. people are doing Thursday. They like this time. Yeah. Well, that's the people that are here now. Because they're here. Because <laughs> Thursday This works. is my favorite time because... I'm yeah. here, but no, I get it. And that's okay too. It'll either way, the Thursday or Saturday will work for us. Yeah. Um, but it's a little bit less work time next week. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. We'll bring a few favorite things. We will just, mm -hmm. we're really, it's just about hanging out and knitting. So see working people can't do it during the day. That's what I think too. And that's most everybody. Mm -hmm. That's most everybody. Um, how do you get it's the amazing zoom? to me that people are able to join us thursday mornings we'll put the zoom on our newsletter on ravelry and instagram we'll put the zoom link we'll put the link wherever everywhere. we can yeah yeah just watch for us we'll put it everywhere and if i remember i'll even put it under this video so you can find it easily in the description box right no promise i was gonna say that's a stretch but yeah. we'll try our best to do that yeah 
Um, but we really appreciate you guys stopping by yeah. and listening to everything and seeing what we've got on our needles and the things we've been shopping. The Zoom is for everyone, of course. Anybody that wants to come. And of course, you guys don't have to join the Zoom if you don't want to show your face, if you just want to sit back and just do this and right. watch us do the Zoom thing. That's right. cool, too. Right. Um, the thing about Zoom is it's kind of nice. You can ask questions. We can have conversations face to face, which I love the most. Mm -hmm. Everything we do is for everyone. Mm -hmm. Right. Like when someone said, is, is the Zoom for everyone? Of course. Mm -hmm. We hope that everyone is, feels included here. It's just for the age group 28 to 43. It's just for 50-year-olds with, with chin hair. To totally. <laughs> Thank you, Star. Star texted me last night and said, are you podcasting so I know I'm not to sleep in? Oh, my gosh. Good Lord. She's amazing. I hope she knows this is not, like, required. Like, it's always amazing yes. to us, but she, I, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. She's amazing. We I love We're it. so grateful. Yes, we love it. It's yeah. amazing. But I don't want her to feel like she has to. Like, yeah. oh, geez, those people don't know anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're excited for next week. Stars we doing Vlogmas. We wish you well. Go yes. watch Stars Vlogmas. Yes. Star Athena. Yeah. Um, awesome. Have a great weekend. We will see you in a week or so, depending on when we decide. Yeah. And then it will be the new year. Not till yeah. the new year. So... Yay, oh, so yay, yay. Okay. We have, have a great we week. We have to say goodbye. Mwah. Bye, bye, bye. Knit lots, craft lots. See you next time. Okay. Thanks.